89. Okay. So, like last time, uh, I would like to have few names from uh, some of you. Okay, who will uh, who will volunteer for uh, for discussion? Okay. So, some of you, please give your names who are willing to step in and help me doing the volunteer student part. Yes. Can I note yes, down Sanjeev. two names? Mahesh here. Sanjeev Tiwari. Okay. Sanjeev Tiwari is one. Mahesh here. Harsh. Harsh Marshalkar. Can you repeat that one by one? Mahesh. Harsh Marshalkar. Harish. Harsh. 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 Okay. I'll call you Harsh. Hello. Right. Rohit call. Okay. Rohit call. Muhammad Adil. Muhammad Adil. Nehal. Muhammad A D I L, right? Adil. Yes, yes. yes. Nehal. Okay, Nehal. Mahesh Sangha. Mahesh Sangha. Okay, so we have. Sir, Bibla Bhattacharjee. That's Bibla. Correct. All right, anyone else? Okay, okay Roxen. Rox R O X A A double N E. Okay. Swapnil. Love and Swapnil. Who else? Jai Prakash. No, I didn't get your name. Rushikesh Gaikwad. Rushikesh. Jai Prakash Jain. Jai Prakash Jain. No, I didn't get your name. Jai Prakash. Jai Prakash. Jai Prakash. Okay. Sir, Murtaza Bora. And Murtaza. Okay. For the for the initial session, this should be good enough, right? Let's let's start with today. So, welcome once again for the. <clears throat> second session of uh, geography of sea transport uh, i hope all of you enjoyed the first one as much as i did yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir yes okay. all right so maybe one by one we will see uh, okay i will start with sanjeev what was the first thing we did in the first lecture of course other than the introduction part Okay, anyone can answer this, uh, not particular. Uh, importance of shipping industry. We've been learning the types of ships and uh, the trade pattern and all. Okay, good. Points. First, why am I in shipping? Correct. Mm -hmm. Start, why am I in? Narottam Raji Institute of Shipping, correct? Yes. All right. Now, since all of you have joined this wonderful profession, uh, there's a long way to go to, to, for all of you, but uh, it, uh, foundation will help you to take interest because it's a, it's a vast profession. You know, so many things are there in shipping. Uh, and, and, and we at NMIS, we try to cover uh, this through about 10 subjects in first year and second year, but it's huge. The knowledge is huge and it doesn't stop here at the, at getting the certificate at the end of two years, but it continues till such time you are in this profession. Okay. And you will learn something, something on your ship. So why shipping? Why I'm in NMIS? Then um, did I should show you? Steamship loyalty, which was yes, yes, sir. Sir. for four. The first one, 4th April, it took off from Mumbai. Today's time we call it Laya Suez Canal. And uh, that was uh, pre independence. So, huge movement, huge movement, especially when you are, uh, you know, under the rule of others. Um, not easy, 
uh, we don't even know what is uh, what is uh, being there in uh, you know a non independent country we are we are very lucky my generation and of course uh, your generation as well okay so uh, that we did and then we started with one interesting topic which is on international dateline and time zones correct all right so uh, let me quickly share the screen and let's continue where we left off last time okay just let me know when you can see the screen with geography of sea transport so that we are all on the same page can you all see that yes sir yes yes, yes sir. sir okay so you can see a screen which is showing geography of sea transport and then there is a name of the faculty correct yes sir all right so we are not seeing a mickey mouse and a donald duck on the screen so that is <laughs> good let's start today's session we did one uh, very interesting part which is about time zones right yes, and uh, we started with the circle at 360 degrees um, earth or mother earth takes 24 hours to take one full circle around herself and then again she is rotating around this sun which is the star of our okay so basically this 24 hours we subdivided uh, or tried to fit in the 360 degrees and we came to an answer of 15 degrees and every 15 degrees if we give one time zone then there are total 24 time zones and that's how yours and my mine wrist watches or wall clocks are basically of 24 hours so a full day is of 24 hours and uh, incidentally that's the reason uh after 24 hours every morning 8 o'clock we have breakfast you all agree with that as it only hota ki some people have it after 22 hours some people have it after 26 hours you know 8 o'clock comes after 24 hours only or when your office gets closed or 5 or 6 pm uh, it, you know it will it will take a duration of 20, 24 hours precisely from today's 5 pm to tomorrow's 5 pm that's the reason it's there and when we divide this uh, 360 degrees into 24 zones we have 15 degrees of block for every zone and naturally we want to start from somewhere since of course the shipping uh, was claimed to be started uh, from europe uh, very much we uh, we chose the reference point as greenwich absolutely and uh, you all know where is greenwich right yes sir london yes in london and, uh, any idea london is capital of which country uk uk england okay so the prime meridian or the greenwich mean time starts from a place called greenwich it's a very small village in london which is the capital of uk and of course from there if we start reference line as... Okay, Irfan, this is one of the beauty of uh, online class. Now uh, we know that someone's good exam day, is good over. Good day. Okay, good. Uh, now, can you all hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, good. It's naturally yes, 15 sir. degrees, so seven and a half degrees. We divide 15 degrees into two parts. Seven and a half degrees on one side of Greenwich and seven and a half degrees on. Let me show you quickly because I know. Uh, did I tell you about uh, the philosopher, German philosopher, Eben Goss? No, sir. He was a German philosopher. Uh, okay. So there was a German philosopher. Uh, Eben Goss Nam Taunka, and uh, in the last century, he came out with a theory which is called as forgetting theory. And forgetting theory is what? What I learned today, irrespective of whatever my memory level is, I'm going to forget at least 60% of that by tomorrow. 60%. Okay, so 
even if the smartest uh, alec is there only 40% retention is there and after one week you can imagine if one day is uh, 40% gone you can imagine what will happen after mm -hmm. one week and we are meeting after one month good but me that i was there last month for the first geography of city transport lecture so let's revise what we did at your you all can see the cursor or the mouse on the screen which is moving yes, yes sir okay great so that's oh. our greenish mean time it's also called as prime meridian seven and a half degrees on the east and seven and a half degrees on the west total is 15 degrees block which is the zero time zone or the reference time zone 15 degrees we move towards eastwards we keep adding one hour each till we reach 180 degrees opposite from GNT on the eastward track. Similarly, every time zone, we keep adding one hour till we reach 180 degrees opposite on the westward track. Now, when we reach 180 degrees opposite on the eastward track and 180 degrees opposite on westward tracks, one interesting thing happens. We took two, uh, two of you and we asked you to travel both of you will reach at the same point. But the beauty is the time, of course, in your wristwatch will say the same, but the date will change. And to avoid that ambiguity, to uh, incorporate that ambiguity, we retard the clock when we are moving eastwards, crossing the international date line. And when we are moving westwards, we advance the date by one day then thing nothing happens to the time but the date will change okay we saw that yes last time yes sir excellent Chalo. this was the uh, chart i showed you that's your gmt and then of course you have 12 time zones on the east side and 12 time zones on the west side total of 24 time zones so in shipping of course when i'm saying shipping whenever you are in the office or whenever you are doing some work, you should imagine or assume that your wristwatch is off 24 hours, right? And whenever you are in your civilized uh, cap or, or civil cap, that means when you are with your friends, your uh, families, of course, we can, we do the 12 hour or follow the 12 hour watch, right? You all understand what I'm saying, correct? So when you are in shipping, dealing with shipping, communicating on shipping, 3 p.m. becomes 1500 hours local time. And when you are talking to your friend, 3 p.m. become 3 p.m. You cannot say that, okay, you meet me at so and so location at 1500 hours. Nahi wo aapko. Okay. See, someone has to acknowledge other than Irfan so that I will not get a feeling that I'm talking to the computer. <laughs> You know, my, my screen is quite attractive, but still I would like you, one of you or some of you to acknowledge and keep acknowledging so that we can move faster. All right. Okay, sir. Super. So we covered all that. And then, of course, I gave you these two questions which you, by which you understood basically what we are trying to do. Of course, these type of questions will not come in the exam. But what is important is you sitting in India and uh, being a, a a proud Indian, whenever you are interacting with someone in Europe or US or Far East, uh, you know, you should, you should have basic idea about if someone is on the east of you, he's ahead of you in the time. And someone is on the west of you is behind you on the time. Yeah. So to give you a very interesting example, Japan and South Korea, where the Olive Japan, of course, where the Olympic is happening, South Korea, they celebrate the New Year first. They meet the Santa Claus first, followed by people in Indian subcontinent, followed by people in Gulf, and then, of course, Europe, and then followed by US and Canada. You all agree that? Yes. So the yes, entire sir. world doesn't say Happy New Year at the same second because there are time zones. Very good. So uh, let's go to something very interesting now. Uh, the last part of this particular chapter daylight saving time. So Okay, uh, Muhammad Adil, I think I, your, your voice was quite loud and clear. So can you read this for the class, please? Only the first paragraph. Yes, sir. 
in summer the sun rises earlier and says later more daylight and less darkness in 24 hours day right please continue in winter the sun rises later and sets earlier less daylight and more darkness in 24 hours day in right. order to ensure that people enjoy more daylight of after after office hours the government of some countries and region like europe and us the us it is advanced their clocks by an hour during summer okay good thank you uh, mohammed or should i call you adil adil is okay yes sir all yes, right good sir. so two important statements just now made by adil very interesting and in simple words you see during summer time okay and of course uh, when we when we hear the summer time or the term summer time we all, only remember the summer holidays correct the enjoy to the best and after that what happens you all know correct yes. okay so basically march to june is the summer time and in summer if you have seen the number of hours from sunrise to sunset are more than the number of hours from sunset to sunrise you all agree with me yes yes sir yes sir so more day and less night yeah. yes sir yes sir more, yes, more sir. bright and less dark yeah and the reverse happens in the winter time starting from november probably till february when you have the sunset earlier than you expect that's why when you are going back home um, many of us think that oh my goodness the darkness is already there the sunset thoda jaldi ho gaya we all see that you have yes, you all experienced or i am the only one uh, from mumbai who has experienced that no sir no sir no sir, sir. No, sir. you are very okay, yes, okay. No, sir. <laughs> now what the idea behind this was um, okay let me let me give you a small example okay uh, during the first world war you know that there were two world wars fought in the last year last century yes sir right yeah so during the first world war uh, naturally they wanted they wanted to any so many people who were dependent on uh, manufacturing companies and lot of weapons were manufactured uh, factories manufacturing comp the so it is going to start early the sun sun is going to rise early and going to set little later and basically why that happens because the sun is little or our mother earth is little closer to the sun so you see the sun for more time or you experience it for the more time in the winter what happens we are little bit away so the darkness time is more than the day side now let's say uh, throughout the 12 months year we are used to starting the day at 8 o'clock starting breakfast, having breakfast at 8 o'clock and then you know you go for your work or your college or your um, whatever uh, whatever uh, you want to do outside six naturally it's two hours past the sunrise correct so in order to save that much time what most of the countries in or uh, first even in us canada what they do is they advance the clock by one hour during summer day summer time and when the summer time gets over and when you set in the uh, after after summer uh, next season comes they bring back the clock to normal why they do that because when you advance the clock your actual 6 o'clock will read as 7 o'clock so what will happen is especially during the evening time let's say 6 o'clock normal 12 hours day 6 p.m is the set then that 6 p.m we are only tweaking the clock and we are we are asking the clock to show it as 7 p.m so what happens is if 7 p.m is more darkness is happening then of course we take it as or we uh, the clock will show it as 6 o'clock so we have one hour additional you all understood that 
and especially especially yes, in sir. the countries where you have uh, the uh, range of the landmass spread across the time zones then of course it is good to uh, follow this daylight saving over time practice okay so us canada and russia of course three major the new york and uh, boston and charleston like cities uh, there is a huge difference so basically to to uh, incorporate take care of the ambiguity every time zone follows and for the daylight saving time so that your morning time is also saved you can see more sun and in the evening also after actual sunset you still have a little bit of time on your clock because in the west if you see uh, there is something known as time before supper supper time their evening meal sometimes 10 o'clock and some people even 10 30 11 so they have supper at the practice of you know some people like to go out play some people like to go out for a course at extra uh, sunlight or extra daylight then naturally the clock has to be where we saw the time zones we saw the international date line uh, we saw 360 degrees and 24 time zones uh, every time zone is of 15 degrees starting from greenwich and uh, now of course daylight saving time okay so let me share now and i'll show you in the just give me a moment okay let me share this all of you have your uh, all of you have received your books right if i'm not wrong yes sir okay all right so can you all see the page number 43 on your book international date line on the screen can yes. you see something Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, so, sir. Yes. Yes, so, sir. Yeah, Rohit, can you read this paragraph for the class? Daylight saving time. Can you see that in the on the screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Sir, daylight same time. Sir, you have told me, Rohit. Yeah, Rohit, call right. Yes, good. Okay. Uh, let us eleven uh, in the morning and goes to bed. Your voice is not coming, coming through. Uh, I'm trying again. Should I? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead again. Let us. Let's presume that a person gets up at seven in the morning. Most of night, it's after eight. He steps outside in the summer uh, to relax, but it is already getting dark. Not much time to enjoy the summer day. Now suppose the clock is set ahead by an hour. This person still does everything at the same hour, but this time when he steps out at eight o'clock. there is plenty of light to enjoy correct so whatever we discussed just now it's given in nutshell in this first paragraph of daylight saving time what i suggest is uh time so go through that make your own notes i'm i'm sure you must have some of you have already done that why shipping you have to make your own notes in your own uh, words second one is the time zones you have to write go through the book content and write in your own words this is definitely going to help you in the month of february 
मार्च में क्या होगा वो आपको पता है फेब्रुआरी इज ओके लेट्स लेट्स कॉल इट जनवरी एंड एंड फेब्रुआरी फर्स्ट हाफ ओके सो टाइम जोन इज टू इंटरनेशनल डेट लाइन इज नंबर थ्री डे लाइट सेविंग टाइम इज नंबर फोर सो दिस फोर इंपॉर्टेंट हेडिंग्स यू शुड एंड आई विल जस्ट टेल यू वॉट आई वॉज ट्राइंग टू टेल यू लास्ट टाइम दिस इज द सेल्फ एग्जामिनेशन क्वेश्चन पेज एट द एंड ऑफ द एंड ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर topic so what what was the need to divide the earth into time zones why it is important for a student to, of shipping to know the accurate time of another country you all know why it is important uh because now even if it is 10:30 in mumbai tokyo olympics is already happening and it's afternoon time in japan correct you all understand that or the or the test match which is australia it's already late afternoon time for them second third one is what is a rational behind the international date line why is it not a straight line like any other longitudes to accommodate different countries otherwise if we have to draw a straight line what will happen is parel and lalbagh will show different times you all from india right i mean mumbai right you don't want uh, vt and chhajgate to show different times so either you accommodate them on one side of the international date line or you accommodate them on the other side of the date line and that's why international date line is adjusted in such a way that the complete landmass of one particular country or one particular zone is covered on one side you understand why it is not a straight line yes yeah why do you understand <clears throat> what do you understand by the term daylight saving time explain why some countries have adopted this system <clears throat> and then what is utc of course what is utc is uh, only for uh, understanding purpose It is almost same as GMT, but uh, only for your uh, academic or knowledge sake, you can go through that uh, important para in this chapter. Okay, so the next one, what we'll do is, uh, so far understood, right? Yes. Yes. Sir. Okay. Yes, good. All right. So, Rifan, if you don't get answer, at least you say that I have understood, so we can we can move ahead. <laughs> sure. Irfan is Irfan is uh, with us for the third consecutive year, so by now he's already a graduate as far as this particular uh, curriculum is concerned. Correct? And uh, yes, sir. Okay, okay. So next one, uh, all of you have your uh, uh, notebooks, notepads with pens and pencil next to you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So the next uh, topic we are going to do is something called as load lines. Okay. now of course uh, the load line word itself starts with load okay so of course back of the mind at least when i studied load lines uh, almost what 28 29 years ago i thought it is something very heavy but uh, over a period of 30 years i have understood it's actually very simple right but to to understand load lines at least we need to know how a ship looks like correct all of you agree with that Yes, yes, sir. Some yes, sir. of you are some of you are already um, uh, working in shipping. <laughs> some of you are already working in shipping companies, right? Some of you yes, are uh, probably sailors uh, who are going on board and uh, you know doing this uh, course um, whenever you have time, uh, you know, uh, parallelly, so that so that you can take care of uh, an additional additional study curriculum. Uh, so, but of course, majority of the class, I'm sure, are uh, fresh graduates. I hope I could have met you in the classroom. But nevertheless, let's hope that after Diwali, at least this COVID COVID situation opens up, and I see you in the classroom, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so you think this is actually better, or this is a better idea? The classroom. I don't know whose results are out and whose uh, whatever is happening. Correct? Yes, If yes. someone someone forgets to keep uh, his or her mic on uh, mute, then we are going to hear a uh, lot of additional stuff, which is good, good, good past time. In addition to what is happening in the class. Okay, so to understand load line, of course, we have to understand how a ship looks like. So what I will do is, um, I'll show you this particular. Uh, Screen now. This is a uh, 
Okay. All right. I'm sharing my screen, and I'll keep my uh, camera off so that you don't you don't uh, get disturbance with my picture there. What you can see is, can you all see a ship? No, patients okay. in the name of the game, yeah. correct? Can you all see a ship's diagram now? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. All right. Yes, sir. So let us draw this diagram, friends. Okay. Uh, let's let's have fifteen or ten to fifteen minutes. to draw this diagram can you all see the uh, a cursor moving on the screen yes sir okay so before you draw the diagram i will show you few check that if you were in the trust all of you that you are using your scale uh, pencils or paints or whatever right So look at look at the mouse carefully. Okay, first take out your pencils and paints. Yes, Some of you who are little busy with that. Okay, we are ready. Yes, sir. Roxanne, we are ready with pencil and pen. Yes, Hello, sir. Good. कर दाव में नहीं तो ज़्यादा हो गया. Okay, this should be good. All right. So look, pay pay very careful attention. now this is basically the uh the base diagram okay any ship at least the hull part and the part below the water when we look like this okay whether it is how many types of ship we have seen man just name one one type of ship okay whoever wants to can plc sir Wheels, my goodness. Direct very large crude carrier. Row. Bulk carrier. Container ships. Container ships. Next. Wheels, ULCs, ULCs, roll on, roll off. Container vessels. Container vessels. Special ships. Heavy lift carriers. General cargo ship. There is something known as life. Sir, coastal vessels. LNG. Yes, liquid natural gas LNG. Ice breaker ships. Ice breaker ships. So very good. So basically, Timber carrier. Barges. Barges we saw. All right. Small barges we saw. The tugs who pull or push. a ship while burning while uh, uh, aligning the ship to the towards Bur to come Bur along side okay bur jetty pier terminal port correct yeah you can you can name it and and every 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 word has a different meaning okay but for the first year let's let's assume that all of them are same bur pier quay terminal port jetty all right at the moment i only remember six but i think there are more than eight okay so look at the mouse now you can see and uh, which side of the ship is this okay pehle ye to samajh le this is right side or left side right side right side right side all of you agree that you are seeing the ship from her right side yes sir yes Okay, and what do we call the right side? How? 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 Just give me a second, okay? Yes. Mm. Okay, fun. Here I will. All right. Okay, start video. Can you all see my face now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. At the same time, you can see the ship. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, good. 
थोड़ा सा लेफ्ट में शिफ्ट करता हूँ राइट द फुल डायग्राम इज फ्रंट ऑफ यू नाउ वी हैव राइट एंड लेफ्ट साइड इन शिपिंग करेक्ट and my port side looking at you from the classroom point of view is your starboard side yes or no you you all understand what i'm trying to say yes okay good so when we look at the shape this part you can see the mouse right this part of the shape is the front portion yes. okay the forward portion some people call it front portion this aft portion or some people call it stern portion stern right portion. yes sir so we have forward and you have stern stern very good forward and stern mm-hmm. okay What is it called? Spin is called FOC slash or F, just put an apostrophe after FOC and then SLE SL, Foxel. Foxel is a short form for forecastle. Lika? Yes, sir. Okay, forecastle means there is a castle in the forward. Anyone? must be some meaning right for that word forward castle or fore castle or foxel a simple answer is no we don't know tell us we don't know we don't okay know. good in the earlier so, ships it was used for uh, navigating purposes okay in the olden ships okay i'm i'm talking about Uh, the era of probably one fifty two years, two hundred years ago. Okay, the merchant ships also well, used to carry us. also used to carry why to protect themselves from any threats. The ship. Now you are. Work forward portion. That's a portion. Oxal stern. Good day. What is the center point called? Here, shown by this particular logo. There is a circle. and opening up so basically this logo is indicated so when you see such logo in any plan general arrangement plan or ships plan you know that that is a mid point of the ship mid ships of the vessel okay so forward so if you see it come if you come down then here yes the bulbous bow Okay, that's called bow, and that's called bulbous bow. This helps in cutting the your okay. Sorry, can you see this? Yes. The more most line of the ship. All of you, please note down that is called as K E E L keel. the lower most part of the ship okay and can you see this part or this line horizontal line on top yes. running from forward to aft this is called as main deck m a i n d e c k main deck 
okay understood okay. okay if you see the vertical distance from main you construct agree with that yes 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 once you construct yes. or manufacture something the distance between the topmost horizontal line and constant and ship floats in what water that this dotted line is the water line can you all see the dotted line here yes yes okay good now tell me students if the total height to keel is constant or fixed then the water line if it is at this level then the distance <coughs> above the water line is Uh, pay attention. The what the distance, vertical distance above the water line up to the main deck, plus the distance below the water line up to the keel. The total of that is going to be the total distance from main deck to keel. Yes. Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. Very good. So, in other words, whether the water line is here or water line is here, the distance between the water line to main deck and water line to keel. These two, if you add the total distance, is going to give you the total height from main deck to keel. Yes. 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 Correct. Yes. Very good. Now suppose you keep on adding weights in the ship. What will happen? The ship will start going down and down, right? Yes. Yes. So that means, in other words, the water level will keep coming up and up. Yes, sir. So there can be a situation if you don't pay attention. The water level can be at your deck level. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. super okay so now let's before we proceed uh, all of you draw this diagram i'll give you 10 minutes or you can take little more time if you want to do a good diagram and uh, try to take a landscape of your uh, notepad or notebook that's your front portion that's bulbous bow that's your keel you have water line your main deck and that's your aft portion can you see your fan like structure here yes yes that's your propeller propeller and can you see one structure here yes yes it is called as r u d d e r rudder okay so only this much you write in your diagram that's good enough just just complete the diagram and then we will continue once you are done with the diagram diagram let us know let me know so we will proceed uh those who have completed please write down from the extreme forward portion can you see this line here yes sir yes sir so this is the extreme forward portion of the ship this is the extreme aft portion of the ship and the total distance between the extreme forward to extreme aft is called as what is written here length overall length, length overall. overall length overall yes this is very important especially when you want to berth the ship because you want to inform the port that this is my maximum length from forward to aft length overall so mark this forward and write down length overall done 
Yes. Okay. <clears throat> now the next one is, can you see the water level here where you have written summer load line? Yes. All of you can see that? Very good. Now if you see carefully this water level, wherever it is touching the ship, on the forward portion and in the aft portion. Can you see that these two points? One yes. here and one here, right? If you from this point where the water level or summer load line is touching the ship in the forward portion and aft portion, there are two lines. One is here and one is here. Can you see these two lines? Yes. So distance between this forward point where the summer load line is touching the ship to the distance or to the point where the summer load line is touching the aft or the stern of the ship, the distance between them is called as, what is written here? Lane between perpendicular. Lane between perpendicular. Very good. So draw this, draw this and mark this as lane between perpendicular. In bracket, you can write LBP. Length overall in bracket, you can write LOA, okay? Clear so far? Yes. yes. Good. Okay, so who said who has already completed? Is it Mortaza, Rishikesh, Nehal, who completed? Yes. Just one of you give me your name, I'm done. So I will continue. Rohit. Sanjeev. Okay. Sir, one minute, sir, one minute. Okay. Akshit and Rohit and probably Snehal also has done. Snehal done? Good. Good idea is to keep your mic on mute so that I can't hear what you're saying. You know, <laughs> start your mic and speak, right? Okay, never mind. All right, so Akshit, Mahesh, okay, whoever has done. Can you see this? Can you see this vertical line? Can you see one uh, arrow indicating here from the water level to the deck level? Yes, sir. Yes. So all of you mark that. And what is written over here? Freeboard. 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 Very good. So write down freeboard, all of you. None, sir. And why it is called freeboard? Because that much of board. And why it is board? Because the olden ships were made of wood, not like today's ship, which is MS steel or wild steel or stainless steel ships, correct? So earlier ships were uh, constructed by wood. So that's why it's called as board. Why free? Because this is free to sink. We still have that much of board. If we load more, it can that can sink, right? So that's called as freeboard. Easy to understand? Yes, sir. Easy to remember? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. So we have freeboard, which is the vertical distance from water level to main and deck. I'm not I'm not saying summer load line here. I'm saying water level to main deck is freeboard, and the vertical distance from water level to keel is called as Draft. How do I spell, sir? D R A U G H T. Once more, sir. Spelling once more, sir. It is the vertical distance from water level to the okay. keel. This one. You mark this as freeboard, right? Yes, sir. This one is more to sink. And this is already sunk huh. below water level, right? Draft. Yes. This is called as D R A U G H T draft. Draft into bracket F T. Why is it called as D R A U G H T? Interesting question. I have to I have to help, take help of Google. I, I also don't know. So D R A F T. D R A F T is a short. And in and in all the communications, you will you will see it as draft. Okay, what is the draft forward? What is the draft up? Or whether you are on same draft forward and up, which is called as even keel, right? Or without any list. Okay, 
so that's called as draft when you, how do i spell that d r a u g h t so far clear yes yes sir good sir, so jo, we sir jo vessel port mein hota hai to hame kaise pata chalega ki ye starboard side berth hua hai ya fir port side aata hu aata hu i have understood your question abhi yahan pe okay we will we will come to that i mean since we are on this diagram can we complete this part at least what's your name uh, my friend sir sanjeev sanjeev okay so sanjeev we'll complete this sanjeev. right yes. okay so basically what we saw so far is forward portion this is aft portion pay attention i'm going little fast okay i've already changed gear to number 3 abhi number 4 pe jayenge highway pe jayenge to okay this is forward portion this is aft portion then we saw bulbous bow that's the bow area front aft that's your propeller that's your rudder ship is floating in water sir, that's bulb bulbous bow har vessel mein ho aisa zaruri nahi hota hai na zaruri nahi sir bulk mein compulsory hai ya fir tanker mein kuch aisa hai sir waise har vessel mein this propeller hona bhi zaruri nahi hai sir powder on vessels either container ships bulk carriers general cargo ships tankers or uh, roro ships these are all powered driven vessels with self propulsion so when you have when you are saying self propulsion that means i need something to move and go forward right so this is a propeller fitted so it's not necessary to have a bulbous bow on every ship but since we have added in this diagram let's let's go at because almost 70% of the ships you will have this in today's time so forward up clear that sanjeev yes sir okay main deck keel what is this water line load line water line water line summer load line the distance above is called Freeboard. as freeboard freeboard distance below is called as draft very good <clears throat> so what we saw was when we construct the ship the vertical distance from main deck to the keel yeah. remains the same or constant you agree with that yes sir राइट Okay, we have so many fresh graduates from commerce. We have so many fresh graduates from art. Probably some of them are from management, right? So let's go step by step. So all of you understood this. So free board plus draft. Okay, free board plus draft is the total height. Agree? Yes. yes sir. Very good. Free board that means extra I have board to free to sink. Okay, or to submerge. and with a portion which is already submerged or the height which is already submerged is called as draft so free board plus draft is same so basically if i see here in this diagram carefully the total game is between free board and draft yes or no yes if the free board increase what will happen to draft draft decrease draft to free board is length between perpendicular yes. yes or no okay good now how the how do i forward portion of the shape yes or no let me see okay let me share this with you guys just give me a second if i have to tweak you know it takes time all right okay can you see the same structure again Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Keep acknowledging fast. It's already eleven. Okay, we have only two hours to go before Irfan will give a bail. That okay, enough. Can you see a ship in the screen? Yes, sir. You can see, right? I can see, so you yes, can also. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Can you see? This is the forward portion of the ship. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Yes, it's sir. also called a forecastle, which is also known as forecastle. Now, yes, this sir. secret is only between you and me. One thirty-five people plus me. This is called the for forward castle of the ship. And what is this part? Stern. 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 Stern
Okay, can you see small? These are basically the rooms of officers and engineers. Okay, so this particular portion, vertical structure, is called as accommodation. What is it called? Accommodation. 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 Can you see? Can you see small windows over here? Yes, yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Okay, this is basically the these are basically the window panes of your bridge. From there, the navigation happens, and the navigators will be standing here keeping a watch, like what happened in Titanic. You saw Titanic, right? Yes. yes. Then simple, the people who were standing, they were standing on the bridge looking forward, and the iceberg came somewhere here. Correct or no? Yes. All right. So this. This is the forward portion. This is the aft portion. So Sanjeev, pay attention. When is forward portion and aft portion side? Yes, sir. Yes, is sir. called your starboard side, and the left side is called your port side. Okay, let's see another. If we have another view of a ship. Okay, so this is again forward, up, starboard side. Maybe all the pictures are taken from starboard side only. Maybe the photographer was his his lucky side was right side at the moment. Okay, again same. Okay, Sanjeev, tell me, this is the forward portion. Yes, sir. This is the aft portion. Yes, sir. Which side is this side? No. Left Port side. Port port side. side. And which is this side? side? Starboard. Starboard, side. Starboard side. Now clear all of you. What is port and starboard? Yes. Sir. Yeah, that does not mean when you are going for work, you tell your friend that I will get down at platform number seven from the starboard side of the bogey. He or she is going to get confused. Okay, in normal civil life, it is right and left. Okay, only in shipping it is starboard and port. You understood this? Yes. Okay, good. Let me see again. There is another diagram. Okay, most of these are basically the ship's front or the forecastle. You can see the forecastle clear here. This is the forward okay. castle. If once you continue here, this below the water level will be the bulbous bow. That's your aft portion. That's accommodation. That's your port side, and that's your starboard side. Clear, all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you all see the water level? Yes, sir. 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 So the vertical distance from the water level to main deck is what we saw just now. Seaboard. Very Seaboard. good. And the vertical distance from water level to keel is what? Graph. Graph. Super. Now let's go back to this diagram. Okay. Now let's imagine. Can you see the bottom line of the screen? Can you see my arrow? Yes, sir. Moving at the lowermost portion of the screen. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. If suppose that is the sea bed, you all know what is sea bed, right? Yes. Yes. The distance between the ship's keel. to sea bed okay all of you in the same diagram make a note the distance the vertical distance between the keel and the sea bed okay have you understood so far yes okay mark this vertical line and write it as under keel clearance under keel clearance u n d e r under k w e l keel clearance Why it is called under keel clearance? That is the sir. Distance. Can you pardon? I already repeated twice. This is called as diagram a bit up so that I can see. Okay, you want me to? No, I'm I'm just asking you to imagine this as the sea bed. Okay. Okay, sir. All right. So this this is the bottom of the water where the land is. That is the sea bed. All of you have gone on sea show, right? Nadi Chopati, Grigon Chopati, Jhoo Chopati. Yes or no? The sand on which yes. on which you walk is basically the sea bed. As you go into the water, naturally the water is going to be on top, and the sea land is going to be yeah. below, and that land is called as sea bed. All right. So the vertical distance between the keel and the sea bed is called as under keel clearance. Into bracket all of you write U K C. Under keel clearance into bracket you write down UKC clear. Yes sir. Okay. 
now you have we have seen the seabed and we have seen the water level so the vertical distance from the water level to the seabed is the total depth of water this is the depth of water please write down so depth of water is basically the addition of draft plus you can see clear yes sir clear so far yes Yes. Okay, so we saw one, two, three, three terms here. From water level to main deck is free board. From water level to keel is draft, draft. and keel to seabed is UKC. UKC. If you see main deck to keel, it's free board plus draft is the total vertical distance of a ship's hull. The vertical distance from keel to seabed is draft. Yes. Okay. Draft. All right. Now let's go to the. Yes, sir, from draft to seabed is depth. From water level to seabed is depth. From depth. this what this line water level to seabed is depth. your actual depth of water. Why is the actual depth of water? Because there is something known as tide, high tide and Low tide. Low tide. I'm not talking about the washing powder. Okay. So in high water, naturally the water is going to be of higher level. In low water, is going to be at lower level. You know what is high water and low water, right? Yes. yes. Correct. You you prefer to go on chapati when it is high water. You don't want to see complete land there or seabed there, right? Okay. So let's. Stop sharing this, or should we continue? Just a moment. What is length on water line? No, I can't hear you. Length on water line. L W L. No, don't worry about that. Length on water line is basically okay. Uh, this is a summer load line, right? Hello. Yes. Uh, yes. When the ship is submerged up to summer load line. This distance from where the load summer water level summer load line water level touches the forward portion and aft portion is the length at water line yes, sir. of the vessel. But it, that will not have much of significance. More important is LOL and LBP. LOL yes. why? Because it is used for berthing. The people under jetty must know what is the total length of the ship to accommodate her in the particular berth. And LBP is mostly used in your Canal dues calculations or tonnage calculations. Okay, so LBP is very important from stability point of view or cargo calculation point of view. Let's go to the next one. Okay, I'll stop sharing this. So, if you want to cover this part, hello, hello, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, you have understood. All right. So what we basically did is we drew a diagram to see what is what are different parts of the ship. Okay, and more importantly, I want to draw your attention to the freeboard and draft of the ship. Yeah. Okay, because our next chapter load line is going to basically cover between these two heights, vertical heights, freeboard and draft of the ship. Clear? Yes. Sir. Yeah. Okay. Now let's take a let's take a break. Uh, half about eight minutes should be good. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, uh, freshen up. Take your coffee, tea, whatever you want to, and uh, let's meet up for ten minutes. Okay. Okay. Quick. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Very good. Yes, so I'll sir. share the screen now. Um, fresh from the break so pay full attention okay we're going to cover one very important topic which will um, help basically um, all of you okay whether you are from chartering stream or whether you are from post operation or post picture or you're from pre picture or you're from um, a broking firm tha i mean any shipping one okay so with you with regards to Okay. All of you see the. All of you can see the uh, entire world on the screen. Yes. 
Yes, sir. Keep acknowledging, so I will move ahead. Okay, I'll yes, be going sir. quick so that so that we can cover one more topic today, which is the map work. I told you to get your uh, world maps today. We will yes, have sir. some time for the world maps also. Yes. Okay, so all right. Let me show you this particular area. Can you see one area on the screen? Yes, sir. You all can see, very good. What is that area showing you? Uh, where should I place this? Okay, let me place it here. Okay. Can you all see this horizontal line? In the center? Yes. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So basically that is dividing the earth imaginary. This is an imaginary horizontal line, which is dividing, not dividing, which is basically making the world into two parts. One is the northern part, one is the southern part. You all agree with that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Correct. All of you must have uh, read it in your, or studied in your uh, geography in, while you were in the school, or maybe some people in, in colleges that this reference line, which is uh, making the world into two parts, which is the zero degree latitude, and it is also called as equator, correct? All of you, all of us know that? Yes, yes sir. Good. So first reference is equator. We saw the vertical, the vertical, reference line which is called as prime meridian or gmt we had seen that yes time zone similarly one is a vertical line and the second one is a horizontal line. the horizontal line is zero degrees it's also called as equator which makes the world into two parts northern part and southern part in other words we can call it as northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere correct Yes. Yes, sir. As we go away from equator towards the northern part, when we reach the tip of going to be circle is 360 degrees, right? 180 degrees east of GMT, 180 degrees east of west of GMT. Similarly, if you see the equator, you got nine. is called as North Pole. All of us know that. Yes. yes. Similarly, when we go southwards from equator, the tip at the south hemisphere is called as? South Pole. South Pole. Very simple. So if you have to see zero degrees is here, from zero to 90 is North Pole in the upper northern direction, hemisphere. Yeah. northern hemisphere in, for 90 degrees, and zero to South Pole is another 90 degrees. Correct? Yes, sir. Total 180 is Yes or no? Yes, sir. yes sir. Similarly, from North Pole to South Pole, other direction also there is 180 degrees. So total yes, 360 degrees over circle? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. Now, why I'm showing this particular diagram to you is depending on the weather experience, okay, uh, basis the statistics of last 50, 60 years, what all weather was experienced? whether it was very rough, whether it was rough, whether it was normal, whether it was calm, okay? The world is divided into different zones, okay? Have you understood so much? Yes. All right. When we go from equator towards north and when we go from equator towards south, the first zone is called as, what is it called? What is it written here? Tropical. Tropical zone, okay? So if you note down this tropical zone, I told you in the last lecture, the geography book, notebook or whatever you're using, the last few pages, keep making these words, make note of these words. This will help you understand in the revision when you're going to do. Okay, so first zone, which is immediately above and below the equator is called as tropical zone. Once you have the tropical zone, end of tropical zone, from tropical zone towards northwards and tropical in the northern hemisphere and the end of tropical zone towards southwards in the southern hemisphere, this particular area in the north hemisphere and this southern hemisphere is called what? What is it in here? Summer zone. Summer zone. So we have tropical zone, 
what is the second one summer summer zone and then from summer zone to north pole in northern hemisphere and summer zone to south pole in southern hemisphere what is it called winter seasonal winter zone okay so how many zones we have primarily tropical zone summer zone and winter winter zone winter. very simple yes sir okay good <coughs> okay so we saw that the world is divided basically into three zones tropical zone summer zone and winter zone these three things we saw okay let me quickly show you this are just give me a second i have to keep shuffling between two different screens that's why it is taking little time so pardon me on that okay i think we can <clears throat> do this in this particular one okay can you see your picture on the screen Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes. This sir. picture is this picture is also there on page number fifty of your textbooks, geography books. Okay. So as a homework, right, uh, or assignment, you whichever way you want to call it, you'll have to draw that particular diagram. Okay. After our class gets over, right? But we will go through this particular diagram. Okay, all of you see this diagram on the screen. Yes, sir. Sure. Okay, good. So basically, what we see is what is written here. F. 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 Next one is F. F. Next one is T. T. S. W. W N A. Right. You can see a circle over here. Yes. Yes, sir. You can see a horizontal line over here. Yes, yes sir. This horizontal line yes. and the horizontal line is S of S is coinciding. Is the same? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. So, all of you make just a rough diagram in your notebook, okay? And let's quickly go through this. And of course, you take your time to draw a good diagram when uh, the class gets over. and this diagram you have to draw from both sides point of view what is written over here load line on both both side both side so as an assignment it will be good for you to draw load line on both side and load line on starboard side separately as a homework why i am saying that is because in the exam there can be a question please draw and describe load line on both side of the ship okay The port side will look little different, and the port side will look little different. Now, to start with, can you see one word here? What is this? L. L. What is L. this? R. R. I R stands for Indian Register. Okay. Indian so basically, register. yeah. So basically, the ship has to be registered. okay with a classification society and the short form of the classification society is going to appear on this horizontal line which is on the borders of this circle okay so since this particular ship was registered under or the classification of this ship is indian register that's why the word ir is there similarly if it is registered under lloyds register then it will be lr, LR. LR. okay it will if it is Uh, registered by bureau veritas or bv you will have bravo victor over here okay so basically the classification society name will be on the load line because every ship has to be assigned with a classification society all right and the name of the classification or name of the class in short will be mentioned on your 
horizontal line which is around a circle okay have you understood so much yes yes sir okay now this particular mark is also called as slim soul mark what is it called slim soul p l i m s o l slim soul mark just make a note somewhere we'll of course di discuss this immediately mm -hmm. after okay so slim soul mark now we'll have to see where this word slim soul has come from okay okay now just for better understanding let me give you the full forms of this small or uh, this alphabet tf stands for tropical fresh f stands for fresh t stands for tropical s stands for summer w stands for winter wn stands for winter not atlantic okay so can you go a little bit slow on it yeah. so that we can uh, note that okay uh, we will we will uh, do that a little later but at the moment i'm just saying okay all right take your time tf stands for tropical fresh f stands for fresh so tf is tropical fresh f is fresh done yes sir okay next one is t t stands for tropical now you may wonder why there is tropical fresh different and tropical different because in some portions of tropical zone you have fresh water the other portions you have sea water what is the density of sea water anyone knows 1.02 salty water hard water okay. the density of salt water is 1.025 1.025 okay that's the density of salt water you, and you can you can denote that by gram per cm cube or kg per meter cube right so you have salt water or sea water which is of a density of 1.025 any idea what is the density of fresh water 1.0 1.000 Okay, so sea water is one point zero two five, fresh water is one point zero zero zero. Naturally, there is a wide range between one point zero two five and one point zero zero zero. You all agree with that? Yes, yes, sir. So that range, if you have water which is between one point zero two five density and one point zero zero density, is called as brackish water. B R A C K I S H, brackish water. So 1.015 density is what water? Sea water. Oh. Brackish water. 1.000 is what? Fresh water. 1.1000 is what? Fresh water. Brackish. Brackish water. Brackish water. And 1.025 is what? Density of water. Serious sea water. Perfect. Sea water. See how simple it is. <laughs> We have sea water density 1.025. We have fresh water density. Is one point zero zero zero. Any density between the range of one point zero two five and one point zero 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 is called as brackish water. Okay. okay. So we have tropical fresh and we have tropical. Okay. T is done. Then next, write down S as summer. Summer. Write down next W as winter. Yeah. And write down next W N A, which is winter North Atlantic. Clear? Okay. Now, Atlantic winter, North Atlantic is in the northern hemisphere. Correct? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, now you may wonder why only North, sir? Why not winter South Atlantic or winter South Pacific? Correct? This question can come in your mind. Yes. Yes. Okay. I will tell you the answer for that. So that we will. Okay. Can you see the Lorenz zone diagram again? Yes. Okay. If you go from equator equator towards north, most of the landmass is within the northern hemisphere. Almost sixty five percent of the landmass which is there in the northern hemisphere compared to southern hemisphere. You all agree with that? Yes. Okay. 
if you go to south pole other than antarctica there is nothing and we all are in shipping correct much in navy or much in shipping so we're not going to deal with ice of antarctica and penguins of antarctica right we are interested in the consignment or commodities going from one part of the world to other part of the world and since 65% of the world is or world in the sense the landmass are there in the northern hemisphere that's why we are only talking about winter not atlantic is it clear to all of you yes sir yes sir yes. So this is equator tropical zone immediately after tropical zone we have got summer zone south and north after tropical zone which one we have winter zone, zone. and after winter zone we have winter north atlantic where you are going to have the temperatures very very close to uh, zero degrees of freezing temperatures and lot of ice formation all right clear to you yes sir okay i'll quickly show you this all right that's europe that's our uk that's greenwich that's your gmt so we are talking about north sea we are talking about baltic sea we are talking about greenland we are talking about canada we are talking about usa so this particular portion is your winter north atlantic area okay so we have winter and then winter north atlantic clear to all of you yes sir okay let's go back to this diagram then okay so we are talking about load line on port side <clears throat> okay so snail tell me what is tf stands for tropical, tropical fresh tropical fresh uh, next one f is fresh fresh, fresh. For fresh. tropical fresh fresh then tropical 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 summer winter winter north atlantic what is this mark called as limso describe to you about this okay we're talking about olden days right when uh, the ships were made of wood and all of you can understand all of you by now know what is freeboard and what is draft correct yes sir all right so let's say we'll take the example of maybe uh, murtaza are you there are you there murtaza yes sir okay so let's say if you are the captain of the ship okay and let's say if you are the part owner of the ship that means some shares in that ship belong to you correct yes sir yes sir right so ideally speaking for more profit you will load the ship more or you will load the ship less sir more you will de definitely going to load the ship more why you will load the ship more for uh, earning more profit sir for earning more profit you want more profit more and profit. then of course the more you load the more you going to get money uh, correct but yes. when we load the ship more what is going to happen there will be less your is and your free board will reduce yes or no yes sir yes, yes sir yes sir keeps increasing as as let's say murtaza and me we are on the same ship and we keep adding weight that means we are keep adding cargo in the ship what will happen is the draft will keep increasing from keel towards main deck all of you understood what i'm saying yes sir yes yes sir and a point will come when the water level will be at will be at your deck, deck level. level that means you are almost submerged in the water correct murtaza on the same sir yes sir yes sir in that case in that case is it safe for the ship or unsafe for the ship the unsafe for the ship why it will be unsafe for the ship because the ship will sink if you have little bit of rolling or pitching okay there are six movements of course there is swaying there is there are six movements but we are talking about only two movements here this is rolling and this is pitching oh sorry this is rolling port and starboard and this is pitching okay 
so when you have this yes. movement what is going to happen is the water level which is there is going to go above the deck level and below the deck level in the next one when you are pitching or when you are rolling again same thing will happen the water level will go above cover your deck and then go you know what i'm saying yes yes sir yes sir. so in your interest to be safe it is better to fix one rule that in particular zone i am going to load the ship only up to this level you agree with that yes sir yes. absolutely and that is and that is exactly what in the last century <coughs> one of the member of parliament in uk assembly did he put the proposal that we have to have a fixed line clear Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And incidentally, and in assembly was Mr. Plimsoll. Now you know why the word Plimsoll, where the word Plimsoll has come from. Yes, yes, uh, yes. 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 Yeah. His yeah. name was Samuel Plimsoll. Interesting. Yeah. Yes, sir. Now don't forget. Okay, till this time you are in shipping. Don't forget this. This is secret between you and me. So, Mr. Manuel Plimstol, who was in UK Assembly as Member of Parliament, put up this particular draft of proposal that every ship should be assigned with certain amount of freeboard. Okay, why we are talking about freeboard? Because that is the board or that is the vertical side of the hull which is still available for submerging or sinking. Yes, it's a freeboard till above water level. So, if I load more, it is going to reduce you all agree with that yes sir you load more draft goes up freeboard comes down you take out the ship take out the cargo the draft will reduce and the freeboard will increase. will increase very simple chalo theek hai ab isko share kar dete hain yahan tak aa gaye matlab we have done very well so far okay let me share this with you okay Go to the next one. All right. Mm, who can read for me? Okay, Roxanne, can you read this for me? Okay. Communication in shipping has to be loud and clear. Okay, two important words always remember. What is the words? Loud and clear. Loud, loud and clear. clear. Yes. Yeah. So whoever is reading, please read it. Loud and clear. In olden days, amount of cargo carried by a ship was decided solely by the ship master. Why? Because, yeah. Continue. Many shipmasters were part of full owners of the ship. Correct. So we have understood that if I am the master of the ship or captain of a ship, and if I am also the profit uh, sharing person, if I am full or part owner of the ship, naturally I am going to load the ship as much as possible to earn more profit. You all agree with that? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Good. Okay. Let's continue. Uh, Sanjeev, maybe you can read the next line. So loading more and more to earn greater profit per voyage was done every often, very often. Simple, yeah, a very often thing. But when you load more and when your water level is very close to your deck level, there are more chances of the ship sinking. Correct? Yes, sir. And there's something known as safety at sea. So we have to take care of the safety as well. All right. Let's go to the next one. Okay. Who will read this for this? My Sangha, you want to read? Yes, quick, sir. Quick, quick, yeah. As a result, many ships sank in the bad weather. And you have a diagram of safe ship. You have a diagram safe of unsafe ship. Safe ship. That's your water level. So the vertical distance from water level to main deck is freeboard, board. and the, from the water level to keel is called as draft. 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 Okay. We pronounce is at. Uh, it has drought. Okay, draft. we don't say drought, but the actual spelling is D R A U G H T. From the keel to seabed is under keel clearance. From water level to seabed is total depth of water. So we have safe ships shown here and unsafe ships shown here. Next one. Okay, uh, who else is there? Jay Prakash, you want to read this quickly? Yes, sir. Yes, which one? Your mic, go ahead. Uh, hence, the UK government stepped in to prevent overloading of ships. The Merchant Shipping Act of 1876 
pushed forward by British MP Emil Plimsoll made load lines mandatory on British motion ships. So made uh, load lines were made compulsory. All of you write down the name. You don't have to write British MP and all that. Just write Mr. Samuel Plimsoll. Okay, and that's why this mark is called as Plimsoll mark, which is there on the ship side of every ship. It has to be there. And who will assign that? The classification society will assign that. And see, right in Jangir Art Gallery and name of the painter. Name or sign of the painter. Same classification showing uh, society is assigning the free, uh, the the free board is initial is going to be there on the. Ship side. That's why for Indian register it is IR. For lower register it is LR. Similarly for NKK. Similarly for Bureau Bureau Veritas. Similarly for ABS. That is American Bureau of Classification Society. Clear to all of you? Yes, yes. sir. Yes, sir. Hey, yes, Baba. That we can continue. How much time is left now? As for your clocks. We are GMT plus. One hour. Okay. So we are GMT plus five thirty. Five thirty Indian Standard Time. Okay. All right. Do you know one interesting part? Oh, good. How will I know? How will you know? Since if I have not told you, right? Until nineteen forty-eight and nineteen fifty-one, respectively, Bombay was keeping a different time zone and Calcutta was keeping keeping a different time zone. Do you know that? No. Okay. This was the question okay. I have raised last week in the group. Okay, and then of course, somewhere in the middle of next uh, last century, the Indian government thought of making it as a common common uh, time zone for entire India. So whether it is Bombay, whether it is Calcutta, that means the extreme west point and extreme east point will follow the same time zone. And that time zone is GMT, GMT plus plus five thirty, five thirty, right? So that's why we call it as GMT plus five and a half hours, as far as India is concerned. And the uh, local observatory observatory earlier was in Chennai. Now it is shifted to Allahabad. Allahabad, where is Allahabad? By Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh. UP. So it goes through UP. Okay, and that's the central point of India, and we keep same Indian Standard Time. Okay, so whenever you go to Talk to anyone outside India or within even India uh, while shipping uh, related communication happens. You say that I am going to meet you or I'm we are going to have a meeting at 1700 Indian Standard Time. It has to be very clear because if you do not specify that IST, some people might take it as UTC or GMT. Some people may might take it as Singapore time. Some people might take it as Japan time or or any other uh, location. You got to specify which time zone you are in. Okay, for India it is Indian Standard Time. Okay, so let's go back to this particular diagram. Of course, I know that you will be drawing this. I'll quickly show you and give you some explanation on this diagram, and then as an assignment, what I said as an assignment. Okay, can you see this bottom portion of the screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you see a yes, horizontal white line over here? Yes. Okay. yes. If the water level is exactly up to that horizontal white mark, then you are correctly loaded. Now this white horizontal mark is assigned for a different time zones differently. That means you will have for tropical fresh will be different, for fresh will be different, for tropical will be different. Winter will be different. For winter, North Atlantic will be different. So whichever times, whichever uh, uh, load line zone you are in, you are supposed to load your vessel only up to that mark. Clear to you, all of you? Yes, sir. Yes. If you load more than that, the ship is called as overloaded. Overloaded. And overloaded ship is not fit enough to sail. Not port. All right. So you have to load up to a particular load line. Is and that. load line zone the port side load line zone so that we will uh, 
put some discussion on that and then we'll proceed just a moment okay this is basically 1.000 fresh water sea water 1025 anything between is called as what is brackish. it called brackish water brackish. how simple it is right acha lag raha hai enjoying yes sir yes, yes sir, sir. Yes, sir. did i tell you that i'm uh, uh, there is a video on If you if if you don't want, I will not share that with you. Not a problem. It's all up to you. Maybe I will keep it for the next year batch. No issue, but you can share. So please share. share. Okay. All right. So can you see? Okay, this is starboard side, and the other one is port side. Let me come to port side. Then we are discussing port side, right? The port side, I have to either shift it. Okay. Can you all see the load line on port side quickly? Tell me yes. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Okay. And now we are on the fourth gear. Okay, fourth gear. So we are going to be faster now. All right. So now, if if I am if my ship is loaded up to the summer load line, which is in line with this horizontal line, then the water level is going to be here. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. Yes. Yes. Sir. yes sir. So 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 if as per the load line chart, if I am in the summer zone, then I am supposed to load only up to this level. This water level. This level. That's it. My water level is going to be here. Okay. And please remember when I am doing this. Okay. The water level should be at the lower edge of the. This summer. Yeah, summer. This particular this particular mark is twenty five mm thick. So the water level should be at the lower level. Now let, tell me one of you when I am in the. tropical fresh zone until what level i can load until what level water level can be tropical yeah. up to here yeah. very simple yes. yes sir so which means what if i am in tropical fresh okay because of the statistics of the weather the weather is comparatively little better that's why i am i am allowed to load more have you understood this concept yes sir Yes, sir. Yes, yes. So when I am in tropical fresh, I can load up to here. When I am in summer, I can load up to here. When I am in winter, North Atlantic, which level I can load up to? WNA. WNA. Bottom. Correct? Very good. That is the lower most or the bottom part of the screen. Correct. All of you understood this? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Super. Yes, sir. Now a simple question to maybe Sanjeev. All right. Yes, sir. Are you there, Sanjeev, or you? Yes, left? sir. Yes, sir. Oh, you are there. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Sanjeev. So let's say if I am going from a port or country which is in summer zone yes, to sir. a country which is in tropical fresh, which water level I will load up to? Tropical fresh. Summer. 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 So, when i'm going from summer to tropical fresh i should load up to the summer. load line summer. or the zone which is the least applicable okay ye nahi ki tropical fresh mein ja raha hu to bhar bhar ke load kar do because what will happen is if you load up to tropical fresh in summer zone you are overloaded very simple yes similarly uh, who is there snehal If I am going from summer zone port to winter North Atlantic, which port up, which level up, up to which level I can load? Winter North Atlantic. Very simple. Okay. Have you understood this? Yes, yes, yes sir. Got yes, it. Sir. Good. Now only thing is, okay, चलो मैं confuse नहीं करता आपको. The only thing is, you are going to, okay, let me show you quickly this diagram. It will be easier for you to understand. and then we will conclude this topic okay all of you can see this ha bolo yes, bhai yes yes, yes sir yes sir yes sir okay ab bahut fast ha bolte ho isliye you know we are taking so much time let's say we are going from cochin or chennai which is in which port which is which zone southern hemisphere a uh, summer zone summer tropical zone. tropical zone tropical zone india kidhar hai pehle ye oh ho acha wahan se shuruaat karni hai okay where is india tropical zone you can see india here 
Yes, sir. Yes. Can you see Sri Lanka here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. The Lord Rama started from here and went all up to here in search of what you think of for yourself. All right. So that's your Sri Lanka, yes, correct? Ceylon. Sir. Yes. Either you are in Colombo port or Cochin port or Chennai port, you are in tropical zone. Now, from tropical zone, follow the just just pay attention to the mouse. From tropical zone, which is in India, suppose I want to go to Southampton in UK. Clear? Okay. In a ship which can pass through Suez Canal. So how will I go? I will start from tropical zone. Let's say from Chennai port. Okay, Chennai port is here. Then I take a full round of the Ceylon. Then I go. I continue in the take tropical the zone. Shortest and path. Of course, we will take the shortest path. So let's. So you want to pass in between Ceylon and India? Yes. No. Warner Sena ne wahan pe pool banaya hai to chat jahan jahan aapka touch ho jayega ground pe so let's take our this route okay safer route so chennai we'll we'll come to that when we do the map work okay so we are taking the safer route we start from chennai so we are in tropical zone we go down round south sri lanka we are still in tropical zone then we enter with zone summer zone summer zone then we enter gulf of eden that's eden port where Once upon a time, Mr. Dhirubhai Ambani, who is the founder of yeah, Reliance, used to be a petrol pump attendant. That's Eden, Eden Port in the country of Yemen. Yeah, Yemen. Down south, you have got Somalia. You may have heard of Somalia pirates, right? Yes, yes, sir. Okay, so Somalia, Gulf of Eden. Then we enter Red Sea. After Red Sea, we go up. This is Gulf of Suez. We cross Suez Canal, and then we enter Mediterranean Sea. we continue 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 between europe and africa till we reach gibraltar rock we cross gibraltar rock and enter north mm. atlantic sea which is in okay. summer zone from summer zone we go <laughs> northwards then we enter winter zone and then we go to southampton clear how the passage is got it got it yeah this is how the ships pass through different zones load line zones we are not talking about time zones okay last lecture was time zones now it is load line zones clear all of you yes sir yes sir okay both yes, simple i mean this batch is really very fast ha huh? irfan i'm happy the picking yes, up quite fast okay so this way you can you can go from any port to any port you have to keep this map in keep in mind that which zone i'm starting from and which zone i'm going to is it clear to all of you yes sir yes sir okay now i'll give you next 5 uh, minutes Not five minutes, maybe three minutes. Three minutes is okay. Yes. How many oh, seconds? Oh, three minutes. One eighty. Your clock. One eighty. Oh, very good. One hundred eighty seconds. So, why these three minutes are given? To take out your world maps with a yes. pencil and eraser. Okay, no pens, please. Pencil and eraser. And last time I told you, the bigger the map, the better for your understanding. So I will share. There is only one side, sir. On shops, and that was only one. One side only they have. They have only one, maybe one A four side. Which side you are saying? Sir, map. He's talking about a map size, sir. He's saying only A four size is there. Ah, no problem. So A four to A four, okay. Okay. Once you are ready with your maps, uh, let me know. So ready, sir. Ready, sir. Already. Yes, sir. Now, now let me share this and let's start the map work. And uh, why we should do the map work? Can anyone tell me? In the exam, maybe I will. Correct. All right. uh before we go to <laughs> exam maybe aayega okay good out of 100 marks two questions 20 marks each total 40 marks is for map, map work and how much is passing percentage for geography 50 percentage 50% baaki aap log samajhdar ho all right there was a question in the chat box by uh, who is this miss athira athira are you there
hello okay all of you can see that question in the chat box no sir okay the question is basically what she was asking what is ulcc and followed by what is vlcc okay so when we go to a, a shop to buy a t-shirt okay all of you know what is a t-shirt right yes yeah when you go to buy a t-shirt okay t-shirt is a a general phenomenon okay a very generalized product now when i want to buy a t-shirt naturally it has to fit me yes or no so depending on the size either you will go for small or medium size or large size or extra large size or xx xs whatever large sizes correct so as we have different sizes for t-shirts similarly for different types of shapes you have different sizes and that size is called as different tonnage okay so depending on different tonnage especially on uh, in case of tankers or crude oil tankers it starts from medium range mr size large range lr size then you have suez max the tankers which can only go or pass through suez canals then you have got afra max okay which is uh, uh, related to the freight the maximum freight you can carry afra max tankers then you have is very large crude carriers all right or you can say in between you have got crude carriers then you got very large crude carriers and then you have got ultra large crude carriers so depending on different tonnage or size these tankers are right. subdivided into different types all right same for container ships you have type 1 type 2 type 3 or size 1 size 2 size 3 size 4 whatever okay and as we said uh, in the previous lecture those ships which can safely pass through panama okay there is a maximum tonnage as far as panama canal is concerned that is panamax maximum tonnage as far as suez canal is concerned that is called as suez max okay similarly those ships which can safely pass through malacca strait which is between malaysia and indonesia malacca max okay so depending on which area you are transiting the maximum tonnage you can load up to the maximum cargo you can load up to the maximum drop you can come to is basically pertaining to that region it is called max tonnage for that area clear to all of you yes excuse okay. me sir yes go ahead uh, so ulcc vlcc uh, they are specifically tankers only or any other ship type also vlcc is very large crude carrier Only okay. for tanker. Only for tankers. Crude carrier is a tanker, right? Crude is what basically a raw product for making your finished products. What are the finished, finished products? products yes. Like petrol what you get at the petrol pump when you go to the yes, petrol pump. Yes, 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 sir. You load diesel or uh, petrol in your uh, vehicles, correct? Yes, sir. Another word for diesel is gasoline. Gas oil. Gas oil. Okay, gas oil or diesel. And uh, uh, another word for uh, petrol is you know, gasoline motor. or motor spirit. We saw it last time, right? So your diesel, your petrol, your aviation turbine fuel, uh, your um, uh, naphtha, okay, uh, LSFO. There are so many ranges of hydrocarbons. Of course, we will cover them when we will. Residual fuel. Residual fuel, very good. Or the bunkers, right? As we use. petrol and diesel depending on what type of ship you have, or what type of vehicle you have similarly on the ships we have two types of bunkers which are fuel oil and marine gas oil marine gas oil is diesel same density and these are basically hydrocarbons why hydrocarbons because for them there is a must to have a carbon atom and a hydrogen atom the combination of that is called as hydrocarbon of course we'll that where yes. we will do crude oil okay let's go to the Leoboil. maps anji tube oil sir tube oil also is a hard carbon yes okay lubricating oil is the full form lube oil is a short form so lube oils which we carry basically for lubricating of machineries because every everything in the machinery or engine room is going to work on machinery or uh, and and there you will need lube oils so different types of grades of lube oils are there which is also derived from hydrocarbon okay and what is the crude product or the raw product for uh, like for for making a, a chicken curry all right the raw product is what chicken chicken you need to have a chicken right similarly for making this finish 
petroleum products, you need to have some raw product, and that raw product is called crude oil. Okay, and when you want to carry crude oil, which is black or brown in color, okay, and which is a raw product, you need to have specialized tankers, and these tankers are called as crude tankers. Okay, yeah. Depending on the size, you can have MR size, LR size. Normally, it is Suez Max onwards, Suez Max, then Afra Max. VLCC, which is which is very large crude carrier, and then ULCC, which is ultra large crude carrier. Whenever you get time in the shipping practice <coughs> and current shipping environment, uh, there is a topic where you will see these tonnages with respect to the size of the ship. Okay, so go through that and write down in your own language so you will remember. Because when you are in trading, when you are in chartering, uh, people can say that you know. Uh, I'm looking for a VLCC starting from Japan going to let's say uh, Middle East. Okay, so you need to know what mid VLCC is, what is the tonnage, maximum tonnage. Yeah, cap size also yes. Cap size is when it is not fit enough to go through your canal, Suez Canal or Panama Canal. You have to go via cap. Of course, we will do that. Okay, so uh, all your maps are out already. Let's uh, let me share the screen of the maps. Just give me a minute. I'll keep my camera off for the moment. Let me just take out this particular file. Okay, when you can see the map on the screen, please let me know. Here, in all of you. Not yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So, what you can see on the on the on the picture now? Continents. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Don't have to write. Don't have to write anything. If you see, can you see the equator line? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes, sir. Pay yes, the sir. Yeah, and now pay good attention, okay? Because I'm going to tell you one secret of how to find the equator correctly on your map, okay? So no speak others, only for your benefit. Okay. Can you all still see India in the map? That's when I when I know that this is India, on the western coast of India, which sea is there? Can you correct. So, uh, Rukzain, when you go on or or anybody or any one of you, when you go on, see which you see is which sea. So Mumbai is somewhere there. Which ocean? Indian, Indian, ocean. Indian Ocean. Proud of being Indian. Is this is the only ocean in the world which is named after a country? Right. So you have Arabian Sea. You got Indian Ocean. And which is this one on the east? Very good. Very Chennai. By any chance, anyone know? Bay of Bengal. Bay of Bengal. Okay. Can we safely say Chennai somewhere here? Yes. Yes, sir. So Chennai is in which sea? Bay of Bengal. So if you go on the, if you go on any chopati of Chennai, that like Marina Beach, what you see is Bay of Bengal. Bay of Bengal. Very good. Now we have loaded ship and we want to go from Chennai. To far east, anywhere in far east. Okay, this is called as far east zone. Yes. Malaysia, right? Singapore. Yeah. Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, Philippines, South Korea, China, Japan, North Korea, Taiwan. All these guys are in far east. Oh. So if you want to start from Chennai to far east, of course we will not go up to far that far. But I have this this one interesting part. Please pay attention. You start from Chennai, you enter into Bay of Bengal. All of you have entered with me. Yes. Yes. Sir. Sir. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, ship is going 
or we can say in shipping language transiting we are going eastwards on an easterly course okay these are your andaman nicobar islands have you heard of them before yes yes sir yes sir chalo theek hai main aaj hi subah padh ke aaya hu so yahan se chennai ho gaya then we are in bay of bengal we go past south of andaman nicobar islands can you see this particular landmass over here yes yes sir yes okay this is malaysia for you all right and can you see another mass landmass over here Yes, yes. yes. This is called as Indonesia. Indonesia. The name of the country is Indonesia. So you have Malaysia and Indonesia. Clear, all of you? Yes, yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. So from Bay of Bengal, we enter between Malaysia and Indonesia, and the water mass between these two lands is called as Malacca State. Malacca State. Malacca State. Malacca State. Malacca State. Malacca State. M A L A C C A, or some people call it M E L A K A. Malacca State. So now we are in Malacca Strait. We continue going eastwards till we reach here. Now, if you follow this Malaysia island or landmass, can you see the tip of this land in the map? Small yes, one. Sir. Yes. That that tip is called as Singapore, Singapore country or Singapore port. So that's your Singapore. All of you yeah. can note here, okay, in your maps. We are following the journey. All of you written India. We have written Bay of. Uh, we have written which is this Bay of Bengal Arabian Ar Sea. Arabian Sea. Arabian. Indian Ocean, Bay of Bengal, Malacca Strait, Malaysia, Indonesia. We continue. Malacca Strait continues, and the the end of Malacca Strait is called as Singapore Strait. And this particular last tip of Malaysia Island is Ma Singapore. Okay, all of you write down Singapore there. Yes, sir. Yes, there sir. was a time when Mal Singapore was part of Malaysia. For your information, now of course it's an independent country. Okay, all right. So Singapore and just south of Singapore, if you see, there's equator. Clear to all of you? Yeah. Yes. Because in the exam, when we are going to see, get the map, this equator, Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn is not going to be written there. It is going to be an empty map with nothing written. So first, I have to locate where is equator. Correct. Okay. So I locate my horizontal reference. How I locate? I see India. I see Bay of Bengal. I see Malaysia. I see Indonesia. Tip of Malaysia, Singapore, just south of Singapore is equator. So I draw a dotted line when I get the map in the exam, and I call it as equator. equator. Very simple. Similarly, can you see here my mouse? Yes, sir. Which is this point? London. Greenwich. Greenwich. Oh, yeah. W W S L and so this is Greenwich. So yes, the horizontal Im imaginary line is called as equator, which divides the world or makes the world into northern hemisphere and southern and hemisphere. hemisphere. Similarly, I have an imaginary vertical line passing through Greenwich, which is in London, which is also called as prime meridian, which makes the world into eastern hemisphere and western hemisphere, and that is called as prime meridian or GMT and we are in India GMT plus five and a half. Clear so much? Yes. Yes. Sir. So when you get a map in the in the exam, locate your GMT, make a vertical dotted line, make write right is as GMT or prime meridian, make a horizontal imaginary line which is equator. So the the moment you do that, you are very com comfortable. That means now you know that. There is northeastern sector. There is northwestern sector. There is southwestern sector. There is southeastern sector. Clear, all of you? Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah, but very simple. Okay. So all of you know this is North America and South America, right? Are you following my mouse? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes, sir. North America, South America. Okay, all of you. Sir, uh, with me, Anji. Sir, how, uh, sir, how will uh, the DLP students? Uh, Deal with this type of questions, the map questions. DLP students, distance learning. You get a map, or you 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 draw a map of imaginary from this uh, from this uh, diagram on the soft uh, soft copy. Draw it on a piece of paper, and then do the map work. We will have to do it. Uh, we have to submit exam, something. Exam, exam. I think for DLP students, there is some uh, assignment, right, which you have to give in December. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, uh, so so uh, as far as the maps are concerned, uh, you can use uh, the map which is there in your book, 
or just take a photocopy of a map available on YouTube. Hundreds of maps are of different maps are available on the uh, on on YouTube or other uh, medium. Download one, mark that, take a print out, mark that, scan it and upload. All right? Okay. Okay. So, North America, South America. All of you, please repeat with me. Which one is? North America. North America. South America. So I need it. North America, South America, America. Europe, Europe, Africa, Africa. Africa. Asia. 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 Australia. Australia. Okay, good. Antarctica. This one is North Pole, South Pole. Pole. Okay, Arctic Ocean, and this is Southern Ocean. Antarctica, Antarctica. Antarctica. North Pole, South Pole. This line is what? Equator. And there is an imagined line which is going is called. Prime meridian. meridian. Prime meridian or GMT. GMT. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, Antarctica, as I said, it's only ice and penguins. We're not going to spend time over here, correct? So far, I have not come across in 30 years a ship carrying penguins. All right? Yeah. Okay, so we will not go down. And that's the reason we have winter North Atlantic and not winter South Atlantic. South Atlantic. Okay, so this is basically... Now let's do the oceans. What is this? Please repeat with me. Pacific, Pacific, Pacific Ocean. Ocean. Pacific Ocean. What is this? Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean. What is this? North, North Atlantic, Atlantic Ocean. Ocean. What is this? South Atlantic, North Atlantic, Ocean. Atlantic Ocean. Have you seen the difference between Pacific and Atlantic? Yes, yes. yes. Pacific yes. is a big brother. He doesn't like to be called as North and South. So it's in the Northern Hemisphere also it's called as Pacific Ocean. Southern Hemisphere also it's called as Pacific. Pacific Ocean. Okay, so don't write North Pacific and South Pacific. It is Pacific, Pacific. Ocean. As far as Atlantic is concerned, North and North South. Atlantic, South Atlantic. South Atlantic. South Atlantic. North, Atlantic. North, Atlantic. North Atlantic and South, South Atlantic. Atlantic. This one is Indian Ocean. Indian Ocean. Arctic. 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 Arctic Ocean. South Atlantic. Atlantic. Okay. All right. So this is very basic. Let's go to the next. Okay. All right. All of you, please write down this uh, in your note. And uh, who is there? Sopnil. Are you there, Sopnil? Yes, sir. Okay, please read this for the class loud and clear. A strait is a natural narrow waterway with land on both sides. Correct. So now you know the water mass between Malaysia and Indonesia, why it is called Malacca Strait. No, yes. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, so this is a strait. That is a Malacca strait is a strait which is natural and natural. It's a it's narrow channel, right? Yeah, yeah. You have confined space between both the sides. One side is Malaysia, one side is Indonesia. And the, in between you have Malacca water strait. Body. Okay, water body or, or, or waterway. Yes, so that's called as Malacca strait. So strait is a natural narrow waterway with, with, with land on both the sides. Very simple definition. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Sir, uh, uh, sir, wanted Andy. to ask. <clears throat> in, uh, in online exam, this uh, <clears throat> map questions will come or not? The March, map trying, trying March, questions. March, May, hai na, Baba. In yes, December, we will do Okay. Okay, sir. In uh, online exam, I wanted to clarify how will we do in online exam? This map question, drawing questions. There will be map provided to you in the exam. And you'll have to uh, mark it on that, or you can use a map, mark there, and upload the map. Okay. In in exams also, we, we can do... We have, if, we it can is, have... if it is an online uh, exam. Yes, yes, yes. So okay. you have a map at your home, correct or no? Yes, yes. Whatever questions are asked, you write down the answers in the map. Okay. You take a photograph of the map and upload it. Your answer is uploaded. Okay, thank you. Without thank copying, you. of course. The disclaimer is very important. Okay. <laughs> All right. And if you are lucky to get uh, the COVID pandemic going away, then of course you will have classroom oh, examination. So you will be called in the classroom and there will be cozy air conditioned room with good illumination of light. Yes, sir, there, but, but for DLP, sorry, sir. for DLP students, it will be online, right? For DLP. Uh, we will, I think you can ask this DLP related questions to the institute and let's not yes, take yes. the time of the class, okay? Because 99.9999% okay, okay. people are 
non dlp students there okay so uh, next one who is that rishikesh would you like to read this it's after state if it is a state is a natural narrow waterway with land on both side if it is it has a uh, solar water on both sides shallow or shallow water shallow water. water on both sides instead of land it is called a channel example english channel english channel so the difference between strait and channel is what strait is this is your seabed and then of course in the end of the seabed you got land okay so when you have seabed and land next to that on both sides it's called as strait but when you have seabed and it is the and the depth is decreasing decreasing and you have got shallow waters so that means deep water and then on both sides shallow water and then land then it is called as channel so difference okay. between strait and channel okay just write down all of you these two lines if it has shallower waters on both side instead of land it is called as a channel for example english channel okay clear yes sir okay let's go next all right uh, who wants to read that just say me and go ahead shall i sir yeah go ahead if it is a man made it would be called a canal not a strait not a strait so if it is natural then it is called a strait if it is natural that means naturally available it is called as channel the moment human factor is involved the moment yes so when we make swimming pools more or less upper depth and then of course land on both sides it is called as canal right c a canal suez canal yes that's a man made canal structure then you have got panama canal you got keel canal there is europa canal there are so many of them okay yes yes sir all right can we go next yes sir okay good there are of course hundreds of states but from the exam point of view and also from your career point of view there are certain states which are very important so let's take them one by one okay okay now when we are doing this exercise guys and girls uh, you have your world map next to you correct yes sir you have your world map in front of you i believe you have your pencils and erasers and you have a notepad on the side correct yes, yes. all right so how we are going to do this trick uh, snail can you tell me how many are there these numbers 10 Okay, any one for that, but I'm just ten, just ten numbers, ten, 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 numbers, ten, 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 ten numbers. I'm just calling the names who have promised ten me at the numbers. beginning of the class that I'll be there to assist you. Yes or no? Yes, sir. So I'm calling the names. All right. So total ten, right? Yes, sir. We'll go. Uh, we'll go there one by one. Gibraltar. And and when we will cover them, what? Okay. So what is the number one called? Gibraltar. 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 Where is it in the map? One. Can you see uh, number one here? Yes, yes sir. Yes. North Atlantic Ocean. Ah, uh, so very good. <laughs> It's about to GMT. One. Okay, we're not going to talk about GMT. Uh, what I am going to tell you is, or what we are going to do here is, when we will do the straights one by one, we will cover all the ten in next half an hour, hopefully. when we are going to do that when i'll show you the in large picture of this particular area okay there are interesting parts first in your map you have to mark just pay attention what you have to do all right when i will show you the in large part like for example i'll show you this one can you all see yes sir okay. yes so i'm just giving you example okay we'll of course take a 2 uh, 3 minutes break before we start so that you are ready for this because uh, if you remember if you if you understand i'm trying to give you little bit time to be ready for the next because all these you have to absorb this is basic of shipping you cannot miss out on them okay so far you understood how the time zones are right yes, yes sir you have also understood what the load line zones are yes sir now we are going to do the map work so see how fast we are shuffling but of course there is a 
time given for you to you know bring back your focus because that focus is very important i know that uh, of course your generation is much much faster and sharper than mine i used to feel uh, asleep in every half an hour so my focus time used to be 30 minutes in the class your is 50 minutes which is much much better than mine okay so when we will do straights one by one let's say number one we are doing what we will do is in the map you are going to write or show that particular dot and write state of gibraltar i'm just giving example of course we will do this after the break don't write anything just pay attention miss nehal okay so this is state of gibraltar so you are making a dot in the map then you are going to write the sea or ocean which is on the either side of the strait so in this case mediterranean sea on one side and north atlantic ocean on other side you agree with yes, that yes sir yes so in the exam if a question comes about strait then you are not only going to write the location of the strait but you are also expected to write which water mass is there on either the, side of the strait side. and which land mass is there on either side of the strait because what is strait it's a water mass with land on both sides yes or no yes yes sir, yes, sir. so when you are talking about a water mass naturally there is going to be some water ahead of that and behind that yes whether you are going northward southward eastward or westward doesn't matter so you are going to write the show the water mass of uh, one side water mass on other side land mass on one side land mass on other side and when you show all this then only your answer is considered complete clear yes so on the map you will show state of gibraltar in morocco mediterranean sea and atlantic ocean north atlantic ocean okay wherever applicable of course this will not all these things may not be applicable for all the states but wherever applicable and in the notebook you will write state of gibraltar number 1 spain on one side morocco on another side mediterranean sea on one side north atlantic ocean on another side clear to all of you yes sir yes sir super let's take a two minutes of break bring back your focus and then we start we're going to really go very fast in half an hour we have to complete 10 correct okay sir it may be easy for you but very difficult for me all right okay all right so take a break focus and we start after 2 minutes this switch i heard yes only from one student yes sir yes, yes sir. sir yes sir yes sir yes sir, okay, all right. yes, sir. Hello, very good. So let's start. And of course, the faster we complete them. Uh, by the way, few of you uh, asked that you want to also hear the story of Titanic. So it's all up to you. If you want, we will do that after we complete the straits. Deal. 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 Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. Provided, provided we complete it fast and we get we get clearance or approval from Irfan ji. Take another five minutes, okay? मेरे ख्याल से पांच दस मिनट तो काफी है टाइटैनिक को स्टोरी बताने के लिए, okay? Let me not say टाइटैनिक को डुबाने के लिए. Okay, चलो. So keep your map ready, keep your pencil ready, keep your eraser ready, and keep your notebook ready. Good to go? Yes, sir. Super. So the first one. Okay, first of all, are you enjoying, or I am the only one who is enjoying the class? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is Love. interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> okay, so all of you. Please, please, please keep in, keep on uh, mute. Okay, only few of you who are not surrounded by family members, right, can keep the mic on just to acknowledge so that I can proceed. All right, the first one, all of you, write down state of Gibraltar. You know the location on the map. So number one is state of Gibraltar. One side is Mediterranean Sea. Please repeat this word uh, with me. How do you pronounce it? Mediterranean Sea. Mediterranean Sea. Mediterranean Sea. Mediterranean sea. Mediterranean sea. Okay. And the other side is North Atlantic Ocean. North of state of Gibraltar is Spain. South of state of Gibraltar is Morocco. 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 Okay. All done. Can we go next? Okay. Yes, sir. I have no problem. It's all the straight exercises between you and 
Titanic. So, choice is yours. Yes, sir. Please go ahead. All right. So, number one is done. Okay. All of you can see number two where it is. Yes. All right. Let's go yeah, to the next. English. What is the name of that? English Channel. What is the name of the Strait? Dover Dover Strait. Strait. Dover Dover Strait. Strait. So, number Dover. two. All of you write down Dover Strait. On what? Dover Strait is over here. You can see my mouse. This is Dover Strait. Yes, on one side is English Channel, as someone rightly mentioned. And the other side is what? What is written here? North, North, sea. Sea. North sea. North Sea. So you have English Channel on one side, your North Sea on another side, UK on top, and France. France. Tell me when you are done. Go next. Next. Next, okay. sir. All right. So Dover Strait, which is between UK and France, English Channel is one side and North Sea on other side. So number two straight is done. Can you all see where is number three? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Can we go number three now? Ready? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. It's a little bit small. I'll choose a better diagram for you. Let me click. Okay. Can you see now better? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Right. What is the name of the street? Bosporus Street. Bosporus. 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 Right? Bosporus. 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 One side is Black Sea, other side is Sea of Marmara. But as far as you are concerned, don't have to remember the names of Sea of Marmara and Aegean Sea. Sea of Marmara is, of course, in Turkey, and Aegean Sea is basically denoted by the uh, ancient name of Egypt. Okay, this is close to Egypt. So basically, from our point of view, or our uh, map work point of view, one side you mark Black Sea, other side you mark Mediterranean Sea. That's good enough. Can you see Mediterranean Sea here? Yes. yes. yes so Black Sea is one side, Mediterranean on other side. State of Bosporus is in a country which is called as Turkey. Turkey, and it is basically on the port or city of Istanbul. 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 Very good. Okay. And just to remember it a little more, uh, I'll give you one more clue on that. Okay. When you are, can you all see the cursor? Yes. yes. I see the focus time is, focus is gone. Okay. Is this the city of Marmara? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Suppose Murtaza ship is here going from Sea of Marmara, transiting Bosporus Strait into Black Sea. Have you understood the path? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. When you are transiting between Istanbul city, okay, the interesting part or the uh, important part as far as this trade is concerned, when you are transiting from here, on your left hand side is Europe and on your right hand side is Asia. Okay. <laughs> and on this, on this trade, okay, the ships pass through water, of course, and Overhead, you have got two bridges, and these bridges are joining which continents? Two continents, like Europe and Asia. And Asia. And Asia. Already gay under? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. So no, no, now don't forget, okay? So, state of Bosporus in Istanbul city, which is in Turkey, or capital of, okay? Earlier name of Istanbul was Constantinople. Of course, uh, we don't have time to do the history, but it's very interesting so that you will remember it better. One side is Black Sea, the other side is Mediterranean, Mediterranean. Sea. Mediterranean. Yeah, so Turkey, Istanbul, Mediterranean, Black Sea, and state of Bosporus, good enough answer. Okay, which is the fourth one? Formos. 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 You know where it is? You can see it on the map? Asia. Okay, very good. So that's your state of Hormuz. All of you note down? In your map, state of Hormuz, one side is Persian Gulf, or it is also called as Arabian Gulf. Why Persian Gulf? Because the olden name of Iran was Persia. Persia. So Persia, this Persian word has come. And the other uh, Arabian countries call it Arabian Gulf. Okay, so it is Arabian Gulf on one side. And which is this side? Water? Arabian, 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 Arabian. Sea. Arabian Sea. Persian Gulf, Arabian Sea. UAE Oman on one side, and which is the other country on the other side? Iran. 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 <coughs> Persia or Iran. Simple, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is there in geography? Unnecessarily, you guys were. 
ओके चार हो गए पांच पे जाऊं यस यस सर ओके टेल मी वेयर इज नंबर 5 वेरी इजी अबाउट इंडिया एंड श्रीलंका श्रीलंका एंड श्रीलंका करेक्ट आप सेतु लगाया था ना कुछ साल पहले यस सर इट्स कॉल्ड पार्क स्ट्रेट कॉल्ड पार्क स्ट्रेट ओके नंबर 5 इज पार्क स्ट्रेट लेट मी शिफ्ट दिस हियर ओके यू कैन सी नंबर 5 राइट ओके चलो यस सर ओके इससे बेटर डायग्राम इसमें है ओके कैन यू सी नाउ yes yes sir all right so yes, one of sir. you was telling me let's use the shorter route from chennai to arabian sea if we go from here there are lot of shallow patches here okay there are lot of small yeah. islands and shallow patches here plus pata nahi ye kaise lagate hai steru i don't know so it is better to go say we take round route around sri lanka and then go okay so even if okay. you want to go from east coast of india to west coast of india never recommend the ship to pass go from here okay so galti se don't send a mail to captain that okay we have to save time so go from park street kal ko aapko court karega aapne bola isliye gaya main aur yahan pe agar chad gaya background ho gaya then you know whom to blame right yeah of course he will not listen to you <laughs> okay so at sri lanka that's india in between you have park street clear yeah sir which is this the bay of bengal bay of bengal this one arabian arabian sea indian ocean indian ocean indian ocean okay sir ek manar ka strait bhi hota hai na sir this ten are good enough okay there so many hundred states no yeah just saw that right okay so you saw this right okay so india sri lanka yes, very simple okay which is the number 6 number 6 can malaka 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 okay you can spell it as m e l a k a or you can spell it as m a l a c c a okay sir ye india india and sri lanka ke beech mein ek bay of mannar bhi rehta hai na mannar state is of mannar but jana hi nahi hai to fir why you want to unnecessarily study that okay yeah because How many subjects are there for uh, March exam? Five. Five. How many topics average in every subject? Yeah, two or three. Topics, oh. lessons. Fifteen, twenty. Fifteen. About Six. average twelve. Twelve into five. Sixty. 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 Your generation, my generation, five percent on option. Option. Dalte hai na pehle. पहले तो ऑप्शन पे डालो बाद में पढ़ाई करेंगे टाइम मिला तो राइट तो yeah. कितने हो गए 50 लेसन इन द मंथ ऑफ फेब्रुवरी गाइज एंड गर्ल्स द टेम्परेचर इज रियली रियली हॉट ओके इवन इफ इट इज विंटर सीजन सो द लेसर द बेटर करेक्ट यस सर ओके गुड मलाका स्ट्रेट इट इज बिटवीन विच टू कंट्रीज विच टू लैंड राइट मलेशिया इंडोनेशिया So you write if you show Singapore, I'll be. I know Joby, whoever will check will be very happy if you also show Singapore. So Malaysia is one, Indonesia is two, Singapore is three. One side is Bay of Bengal, and this side is. Can you see South China Sea? South China Sea. So just write down South China Sea, Malacca Strait. Answer is complete. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Can we go next? Yeah. All right. As far as numbers and numbers eight is concerned, both these straits are around Australia. Okay, one is in north and one is in south. Can you south. see Australia numbers number eight here? Yes, sir. Number seven, the pronounced <coughs> Torres Strait, and number eight is Bass, Bass. Strait. Pronounce with me. Torres. Bass. Bass. Torres. 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 Bass. 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 Okay. All right. Let's go. Number seven, north of Australia. You have Torres Strait, and south of Australia you have got Bass Bass Strait. So write down. India. As far as as far as this uh, strait is concerned, one side you can write as Indian Ocean, India. the other side you can write as Pacific Ocean. Ocean. Okay, clear. Yeah. Same for Torres Strait. Clear. Yes, sir. Go on again. Yeah. All right. So yes, number nine is Magellan Strait. Okay. Where is Mag? Okay, number nine, Magellan Strait. So, uh, 
ओके लेट मी गो लिटिल बैक ओके मैगलेन स्टेट है किधर पहले दे ओके नंबर 9 कैन यू सी नंबर 9 हियर यस यस सर यस सर साउथ अमेरिकन the continent of america is divided or subdivided into three portion north america central america and south america as far as north america is concerned very easy we have all of you know the uh, name california of country. Yeah. you have canada you have us and you have mexico, mexico. then you have mexico. Uh, central america and then you have south, south america. america okay south america yeah. is, do you know any country yeah. ब्राजील Okay. But as of now, we can say is as South America and number nine state, Magellan State is already there. Correct. So Magellan okay. State, one side is Pacific Ocean, another side is South Atlantic. South Atlantic. Atlantic. Okay. And then we go to the last. What is the name of that state? Bering. Bering. Bering State. Which is between US and Russia. 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 Basically, it is between. Alaska, which which is Alaska, and a portion of Russia, which is Siberia. So Siberia. between Alaska and Siberia is Bering Strait. Okay, you have Arctic Ocean on one side, and you have. Don't worry Pacific. about this word North, just Pacific. North Pacific. Pacific, Pacific. Pacific. Okay, big boy, a big man. Just call him Pacific. Pacific. Okay, clear. Yes, yes sir. sir. All of you noted that. Yes sir. Yes, yes sir. Very good. So let's go to the next one. Yeah, all right. We are done with. We did it quite fast, guys. So fast very slide, good. sir. Last so that we can slide. complete our story, sir. Yes. Interesting. बोले नहीं हैं आप लोग. Okay. So here, uh, Irfan, I will uh, need your help to uh, share the video. How do I do that? Go to share screen and uh, uh, check the video clip. And the moment you click on the share, there is a, there are two options below: sound uh, and video. Share, share sound. Share and... Optimize for video clip. See okay. See bottom. Share. All right, all right. Optimize for video clip. And then video clip. Yes. All right. Let me just see. Uh... So I have to first play the video and then do this uh, first, uh, action, first right? The option. First select the option. The first okay. Close option. Then you play it and share. Uh, there is no sound button over here. Uh, not sound. The uh, moment you click on share screen. Okay. Then you will see two option at the bottom. Of the same page, share sound optimized. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Computer sound, yeah. Share computer yes. sound, and then I place share, right? Yes, 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 correct. And after I click share, then I can play the video, or I have to the start video. the video and then share. No, no. Then you play the video. And then I can. Automatically, play. it will show you your desktop or the explorer. Okay, good. All right. So before that, let me let me address this uh, in the. Uh, thank you for clarification. So Athira. Even though I can't hear you, I accept your uh, what should I say? Thank you. Hmm? Okay. Uh, then there was a question from Mr. Vibhav Varadkar. All ship dock in port side only is a question, right, Vibhav? Okay, he can't hear us. And then there is there is a. um remark by snehal shinde snehal at least can you hear us or talk to us ah snehal shinde is there yes sir are baba re bahut bada text likha aapne in each and every lecture this question i raised by is raised by is rohit is raised by rohit and everyone had already answered him and suggested him to ask this to administration regarding the same 
So this is oh, regarding. I asked regarding the map question only, since uh, this is my first class of this geography subject. So I. Yeah, but in uh, rest of the lectures, in rest other subjects also, you are asking this type of questions. That's why I have mentioned your name with this remark. Since I I am a student, so so I, I have a right to ask question. But you have already been suggested by all of the students that please ask this type of questions to the admin, even okay, uh, the and I am. Why, why are you getting so bothered about? Because, about because we are getting disturbed with this type of questions. Sir is also like telling you that please don't ask it now. You can uh, the exam is in March. You can ask it in March or. Oh, I understood everything, but uh, I. So can we discuss it all later? That is a thing of the past. Yeah. We are wasting time. Uh, yeah okay so rohit uh, no need to get uh, uh, hyper whatever okay you need not you need not uh, react okay in in life there are two uh, two actions we do either we respond or we react okay but of course we will yes, do sir. that uh, maybe after diwali ha pataki ke baad karenge hum isko all right so as far as the as far as the uh, questions are concerned the admin team is there um, you can send a mail to them or you can ask them on phone you will get all the answers of course the sentence is... which are saying this now sir this has been told him by each and every I, I professor let me let me address how this. is that possible that every person this is only my second class of this of this course and uh, can anyone yeah, please I help me out with this there yes, are many there students okay, okay we will consume contact we will we'll see it later on or you can call me if you have my number I'll sure, sir. Sure, sir. Okay. All right. Let's continue. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Okay. So let's continue. Thank you, Snehal, and thank you, Rohit. Uh, let's continue. It's, uh, it's uh, not due to waste the time during the lectures because we have very less. Yeah, time. actually. Yes, sir. All right. So basically, all ship dock in port side only is the question by Mr. Vaibhav. What uh, are they? Okay. All right. So basically, we saw port side and starboard side, right? Yes, sir. The left side of the ship and uh, right side of the ship, correct? Yeah. Now the question, next one is, you may you may think, or you know, why it is called port side and why it is called starboard side. Uh, so basically, the uh, can we do this story next time? I think we are all geared up for Titanic, right? Yes, yes sir. Yes. Okay. By any chance, uh, anyone knows which year it sank? The Titanic accident took place. Sir, I think nineteen thirteen, nineteen thirteen, or nineteen fourteen. Sixteen, sir, or nineteen. Okay, it happened in April nineteen twelve. Okay. Okay, which is one zero eight years back. Okay. Okay. All right, and also, uh, of course, the first World War uh, just had broke nineteen eleven, and this happened in uh, in the month of April nineteen twelve. and when we are talking about april right it is the summer zone right beginning of summer zone yes sir yes or no all right so before yes, yes. Uh, before summer what we have in india winter winter, winter correct yeah. so basically the yeah. winter gets over maybe in february or uh, early part of march and then and then the summer starts right yes sir okay so inter winter of course the temperature is low of course and there is going to be lot of uh, snow or ice especially in the northern region yeah and what happens when the temperature goes up to the ice or snow it melts it's making it melts. more ice yeah it melts sir making more when ice when temperature goes melts, on no? temperature goes yeah. up the ice is going to melt correct yeah yeah All right so when the ice ice melts when you have these mountains of ice what will happen to these mountains they when the ice starts melting they will start oh, floating like disintegrate disintegrate correct they will start breaking into smaller pieces correct and yeah, the smaller yes, pieces sir. will definitely fall down by the gravity correct yes sir yeah so similar same similar phenomena happens in a place called greenland we saw that in the bering strait one side was alaska one side was siberia and then you had greenland russia yeah. yes of course us US side is Alaska and Russia side Russia. is Siberia. 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 So that Greenland on top, correct? Now Greenland okay. is basically full of snow and ice. Especially during winters, you will have mountains of uh, snow, right? But but the moment winter gets over and the summer starts, onset of summer, 
this ice or snow is going to melt and when it melts basically the disintegration as someone someone suggested will happen or the breaking of ice and that ice or the big chunks and we are talking about huge rocks okay and the and the biggest size can be as good as or as big as a small mountain though they will break from the bigger mountains and then they will come down <coughs> and then they will not only be on the ground but the slope or the the geography or the topography is such in the some of the areas that these icebergs will not only break but they will also get into the sea and start all right okay so there was a there was a ship called titanic it was built in uk okay and uh, are you are you listening to me or am i the only one very interesting name of the ship was titanic and it was basically a passenger ship okay for uh, pleasure for leisure and uh, this ship was to start from uk and you know where she was going us New York, US. US, very US. good. Which port? Any idea? New York, sir. New York, of course. So she was going from Southampton. Of course, they she did three ports in UK, and then of course, uh, from. Uh, so if if you if you stress a little bit your memory, if you are going from UK to US, which water mass you will be crossing through? North Atlantic. North Atlantic. North Atlantic. North Atlantic Ocean. And we also saw that between uh, English Russia Channel and between Russia and US, there is Greenland. Yes. So far, this is clear to all of you. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so she was yes, sir. through North Atlantic. You know what was the rated speed of the ship? What was the max speed of this ship, Titanic, built? Don't know, sir. You don't know. Okay, good. That's a good answer. It was twenty-four knots. How much it will go? Twenty-four miles nautical miles per hour. So that is a that is a that is a big deal if we are talking about one hundred and eighty years back. Okay, yes, four knots. And uh, at the time on uh, the day which which this particular uh, unfortunate incident happened, uh, she was doing almost twenty-two knots. So twenty-two nautical miles per hour is a huge speed. Even today's times, uh, when you will be in doing your jobs. In a pre-fixture or post-fixture or uh, even chartering or trading or yeah, or whatever, fourteen yeah. fifteen knots for a bulk carrier is considered good even today. Yeah. Okay, economical speed. So we are we are talking about twenty-two knots in nineteen twelve. So she was of course transiting. Uh, the the estimated passage from UK to US was seven days. She was to start I think on tenth of April and uh, ETA. You know what is ETA, right? Estimate of time of arrival. Estimate of time of arrival. Okay, ETA is always estimated. That doesn't mean that when I say my ship is ETA is, uh, let's say 14th April at 14 hundred hours, that doesn't mean that I'm going to actually arrive there at that. That's an estimated time. Always remember that ETD, ETA is all estimated. Of course, you should be very close to your estimated time, but of course there is there are a lot of factors which play, and weather is one of them. So she started on 10th April. Was to reach um, New York in U.S. East Coast of U.S. on 17 April, <clears throat> and two important facts were there as far as the ship is concerned. The first fact was this was the maiden voyage, so Titanic was on her first, first voyage. Time. After built, this was the first voyage, and you know what was the other interesting part? No, sir. The captain of the ship said that. This is going to be my last voyage. So after we reach New York, I'm going to hang my shoes, all right? So he was on his last voyage, and the ship was on her maiden voyage. voyage. Okay, she started from Southampton, UK, and of course doing a couple of more ports, and then she was going towards uh, going towards uh, New York. So let me show you this video. Now in this video, what I want you to do is instead of only seeing the video, those who are interested. You can make a note. Okay, the video. The video is almost, I think, about three to four minutes. It will go very fast. But what I want to, what you to note is, what was the length of Titanic? If you can capture that, right? What was the rated speed? What was the speed at which she was uh, uh, going at that unfortunate time? Okay, 
just to help you, it was around 11.40 at night. So it was night time. Uh, at least some of you have seen the movie Titanic, right? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. So, so other yes, than sir. the, uh, other than uh, uh, Leonardo and Kate, you, you, there are there are a lot of other things which happened in in, in actual Titanic case. Okay, so let's let's see that in the video. What was the tonnage of the ship? What was the length of the ship? How many passengers she was carrying? And there was one clip. There is one clip in the video where total number of passengers are mentioned and total number of lifeboat capacity is mentioned. So you will also know for those many passengers what was the lifeboat capacity. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So you will immediately know why this particular accident happened and after this accident happened the survival rate was why so less okay so let's let's see this video i'll keep my camera on off okay uh just give me a minute let me quickly open that video for you guys Okay, so some of you will have to acknowledge that you can see the video and hear the sound. Just give me a second. I'm sharing that right away. Uh, share screen and uh, Irfan by said share the comment. Yeah, right? Okay, so now you guys can see the video. Okay, then I have to click on that video and share, correct, Irfan? Yes, sir. Okay, can you see on the screen history written? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Should I play? All right. Yes, Keep sir. your those who are interested because by viewing this video also you can make out so many things. Okay, what was the passenger carrying capacity? What was the lifeboat carrying capacity? How much tonnage was there? What were uh, uh, the different uh, particulars of the ship? Quite a few things are very nicely mentioned in this video. It's a very fast one. So you got to be quick in, I'm going to not going to pause the video in between. It will be three minutes, probably. Yeah, not even three minutes, less than that. Okay, so you all ready? Shall we play? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, here we go. Can you see that? Yes, sir. Now, in this particular in this particular picture, okay, let me take this down. You can see England on the right hand side. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It was it was transiting through North Atlantic Ocean and projected arrival in New York was 17 April 1912. 10th April yes. she started from Southampton. 17. So seven days passage in North Atlantic Ocean. But the difficult part was west coast of Greenland. Can you see this white? Uh, yes, sir. Patch. Yes, 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 sir. White patch, correct. So these are basically the icebergs which melted after oh. winter, and then they, of course, there are two, two currents which we will do when we will do currents in the class. Just a minute, yeah. So on the left, west coast of uh, Greenland, the current which is going from North Pole towards Equator is called as Labrador Current, and on the east coast it is called as South or East Greenland Current. So Labrador current basically pushed these icebergs down and in the way of Titanic, okay? And this is the place where this accident happened, which is about 350 nautical miles southeast of Canada, okay? Newfoundland in Canada, okay? Let me 
view the video again for you okay 2200 passengers and crew bike board capacity 1178 22 knot 14th april 1912 at 11:40 pm this was the survival rate So this is was what we saw as the first scene of the movie correct Yes sir All right let me let me quickly play it for one more time and then I'll tell you why I was telling some of you those who are interested please write down whatever you can see on the screen okay So I'm playing it one more time for all of you okay uh, Was it interesting first of all Yes yes sir yes sir yes, yes sir definitely yeah, definitely yes sir very interesting sir and we will we will go through and that is how we have to develop in our careers whenever we get a short message from anybody including charter owner trader consignee shipper broker middleman agent blah 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 how we should write down quickly in short hand what all we understood okay so i'm playing it for one more time and then we will have a small discussion before we conclude for today for lunch all right so let me start the video again those yes, who sir. wish can write down okay i'm playing it again please tell me when you can see and hear it's audible all right Forty-six thousand ton h One seventy-five feet height, nine decks were there. Three thousand five hundred passengers and crew capacity. Four funnels. Okay, this is regarding engines, so no need to worry about this technical part. Top speed twenty-four knot. It took three years for three nearly three thousand people to build this ship. it sank in only 3 hours okay this is commercial part okay these are few of the luxuries mentioned okay the provisions and food on board this was the passage uk to us accident all right flight boat capacity 1178 22 north 14th april at 11:40 pm and the crack was more than 220 feet okay amitabh bachan side is 6 feet so you can imagine 220 feet kitna hoga Two point two hundred and three hundred fifty miles south west southeast of Newfoundland in Canada. Okay. All right. Let me close this and has been stopped. Okay. All right. Okay. Now all of you can switch on your cameras. Those who want to, wish to. Some of you have noted down, right? Yes, sir. Okay. so when you are doing your shipping uh, respective careers after uh, after your uh, graduation from nmis some of you are already doing job so uh, why i am why i showed you this so in the beginning of the video the number passenger okay uh, this is who athira okay athira you have very interesting questions i must say that uh, 3500 is the max capacity okay hello Yes, okay, sir. she cannot communicate with us. Uh, when we take a cab in Mumbai roads, it can carry four passengers, right? Yes, sir. Yes. It doesn't yes, mean sir. that always we have four people. Arey, chalo, you know, four to baro kaise bhi karenge. 
होता नहीं ना समटाइम ओनली वन पैसेंजर यू आर ट्रेवलिंग सो सिमिलरली इवन दो टोटल कैपेसिटी थ्री थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड ओनली टू थाउजेंड ऑट पीपल वेर देर ऑन द शिप एट दैट टाइम एंड इट्स नॉट ओनली अबाउट द मास्टर और द मेडन वर्ज ऑफ द ऑफ द शिप इट वॉज ऑल्सो अबाउट द पैसेंजर्स और द फर्स्ट क्लास पैसेंजर्स ऑल्सो इंक्लूडेड द नेवर आर्किटेक्ट द शिप यार्ड पीपल हु बिल्ड इज शिप ओके so it was it was a matter of pride for so many people like ss loyalty was a matter of pride for uh, so many indians okay uh, when it it took on the first voyage from from mumbai to london so on 14th of april four day after departure at 11:40 we was doing 22 knots and uh, you saw the provisions and the tonnage and uh, the rates and other things you all also saw in the video uh it happened and on the starboard side of the ship she collided with the iceberg now iceberg ka the uh, interesting part is okay what is shown or what is seen on top of the sea level okay that small yeah. iceberg tip is just that that's why we call it just the tip of the iceberg almost 50 to 100 times bigger volume or mass is there below and that's what of course not was uh checked or or seen what happened you saw in the on the movie also a few of you or some of you or probably all of you so interesting part 220 feet of crack was developed on the starboard side of the ship and water naturally came inside and it took only 3 hours for the ship to sink and you can imagine it's north atlantic you saw the latitude it's very close to canada where the temperature is going to be very less cold weather night time and less passenger carrying live boat capacity can you imagine can you imagine yes, a better situation than that okay so you saw the saw the rate of survival and that's what happened on uh, on on this particular ship interesting yes sir yes, sir coast guard nahi hote the tab inhe bachane ke liye कब की बात कर रहे हैं यू नो दिस इज लॉन्ग लॉन्ग बैक एंड कोस्ट गार्ड वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट यू नो हाउ मच डाउन द शिप स्टैंक डिड यू डिड यू सी दैट टू डॉट थ्री टू पॉइंट टू पॉइंट थ्री नॉटिकल माइल्स ओके सो दैट इज टू थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड मीटर्स टू एंड हाफ माइल्स बिलो द वॉटर लेवल कोस्ट गार्ड वॉट विल दे वॉट विल दे डू the in the middle of the night around 10:45 okay never mind the, the point is not that point is of course coast guards and vtis and uh, traffic separation scheme and uh, weather routings and all these modern things were not there that time uh, we are talking about uh, era which is you know where you have to actually use the stars and the planet uh, to to plot the position to see where you are important right Is yes, it important sir. to know yes, when sir. you are when you are in the ocean and uh, seven days on either side you don't have land mass? Can you imagine the yes, situation? Yes. Night time and you don't you don't know where you are and we, you you don't know where you are going. Interesting. Yes, yes, sir. yes sir. That's how that's how one champion started from uh, west coast of Europe and landed in West Indies instead of India. <laughs> right? Another fellow, you know, made a made a passage to to Goa. वास्को दिगामा राइट यस ऑफ कोर्स पहले काफी बड़ी हिस्ट्री है ऑफ कोर्स आवर नेशन हैज अ ह्यूज मेरिटाइम हिस्ट्री व्हिच आई व्हिच आई शेयर्ड विद यू इन माय इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर सो द वीडियो ऑफ कोर्स फॉर टू इंटरेस्टिंग इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग्स सिंस वी आर इन दिस वंडरफुल प्रोफेशन वी नीड टू नो द इंपॉर्टेंट एक्सीडेंट्स व्हिच हैपेंड इन शिपिंग बिकॉज़ एवरी एक्सीडेंट गिव अस अ गिफ्ट यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आई एम सेइंग Yes, so, Titan. Titanic yes. was one of the major reason why we got solar safety of life at sea. The security measurements. Yeah. Minimum safety. Lifeboat safety. Lifeboat safety. Life. And uh, safety so many things. Yes. Uh, you know something happened in two thousand one, nine eleven attack. Have you heard of this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What yes, happened? Sir. Can anyone tell quickly to the class if you remember? Mumbai attack. Mumbai attack. Mumbai attack. World Trade Center has been attacked by Osama bin Laden. World Trade Center, sir. Hey, Bhagwan. Okay. World Trade Center was attacked by World Trade Center in New York City. Uh, basically, on the 
Brooklyn Island. ISP has came into picture. Taliban attack, sir. Yeah, and that okay. so uh, terrorist organization called Talib Taliban, headed by. Osama bin Laden. I don't have to explain much. So 9/11 attack on uh, uh, on World Trade Center gave us ISPS code. Okay. Similarly, there were two important accidents: one of motor tanker Tory Canyon, another one was motor tanker Amoko Cardis. Amoko Cardis. These two accidents gave us Marpo, marine pollution at sea, right? Then, of course, uh, someone mentioned about uh, which one you mentioned? Exxon Valdez. Exxon Valdez. There was a tanker which was owned by a company called Exxon, and that company was an oil major company. Okay. Exxon Mobil. Exxon Mobil. Exxon Mobil is basically a joint venture because after that accident of Exxon Valdez took place, the liability was unlimited. Okay. And uh, that, that tanker which uh, ran. <laughs> Run aground on the coast, uh, east coast between US and Canada was a huge amount of pollution, and which gave us OPA 90, Oil Pollution Act 90. So, what I'm trying to say is every accident in maritime history has given us a. So, so we have to be very careful because the more mistakes we do, the more rules and regulations are going to come. Correct or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, please mute the mics. Okay, so uh, another important thing uh, in these two minutes of uh, the video which you saw, can anyone tell me what was the max carrying capacity? 3,500. Yes, 3,500. 3,500. How many years it took to build Titanic? Three years. 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 Yes, sir. Yes, how, much sir. Was, yes, sir. The, how much was the crack on the starboard side? 220 feet. More than 220 feet. Yes, sir. Which day this accident happened in North Atlantic Ocean? 14 April. 14 April. 1912. 1912. At? 11.40. 11.40 local time. Yes, sir. This is not Indian Standard Time or Singapore Time or Japan Time. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Time. Please understand that. So when yes. it is 11.40 there at night in Mumbai, we were having daytime. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, Janara. Sunday, so I can give you the liberty. Okay? And she sank. What was the depth that she went down? 2.3 miles. 2.3 miles. So guys and girls, uh, you understood why I basically showed you this video and why I'm asking you these questions. This is yes, how sir. messages will come to you when you are going to do your shipping career. Okay? This is how the entire story. You have to put in your efforts to get the full grip. And remember one thing, jiski lati uski best. The first communication, it has to be last very good. First impression is last impression. You do not get second chance to make your first impression. Yes, sir. All right. You don't get second chance to get your give your first impression. So whenever you are communicating with anybody and everybody across the globe, including India, make your impression in such a way that the other person knows who is the dominating part, dominating partner in this communication. Very simple. Second important thing, they must know the other party must know that you know your subject. Very clear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do, do you understand how important is geography for that? Yes, yes sir. sir. All right. So all yes, you, sir. Promise me you're going to enjoy your Sunday. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lunch, yes, sir. Rest, and do sir. some study. Uh, what study you have to do that you know already. So <laughs> that sir. load line, port side load line. You have to draw yourself. And before it evaporates, and I'm not saying this, the German philosopher is saying that. I don't remember the name. Anyone knows the name? 
Okay, his name Acting was. Acting with A. No, sir. Not Mr. A. German. Stimulus. Mr. German. Okay. Starts with sir, E. Sir, sir, Titanic like incident happened in Mumbai also, na? No? Ramdas boat something. So Ebbing many, goes. So many incidents happened. I mean, six, six lectures as per Irfan by not sufficient, right, to cover so many accidents. But there is no iceberg in Mumbai. No, no, uh, not, see, a iceberg, not a thing. iceberg, but it's a, I think, huge rock or something uh, like that. So many, so many things happened. Now it's already 1:20. Uh, even Irfan has to take a break because poor person has, poor chap has to go for the next lecture. So all of you enjoy. Um, I don't know when is the next lecture, but we are going to continue. In the next lecture, what we have to uh, do is, okay, Namita Sarang says, thank you. Ah, Vaibhav Varadkar says, thank you so much. Okay, that so is additionally, so much is additionally added. So I'm happy to, happy to see that, Vaibhav. Athira also says, thank you. All right. So all, all good guys and girls are thanking me. I'm happy for that. Next time, okay, we started with the world map, correct? Yes, sir. Choice is yours, A4, A3, A1, A2, A6, newspaper size, or even if you, you know, whatever you want to. Next time, in addition to uh, the world maps, okay, get a couple of copies, at least two to three copies, and we will continue with pencil and eraser till you get confidence and I get confidence that now you can use colored paints or pencil, pencils to do map work. We will continue with pen, uh, pencil and rubber. And um, in addition to world map, next time, please get Indian map. Okay. Better to start with our own country? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. We all are Indians. So let's start with yes, uh, India next time. So get a copy, three to four copies of uh, Indian map and uh, three to four copies of world map. Next time, we are going to trace upon uh, the map work more. Okay. Than yes. the theory part. Sure. So all of you enjoy. Yes, sir. See you next time around. Take care. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so Thank much. Sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, bye. Take care.